Shit. Yeah, we have a, we have, we have a new game to stream today. Um, on the note of of yesterday, and you know, uh, streaming games based on growth. Um, this is like almost that. Um, you know, aside from the fact that I am neither at the the top nor bottom of this category, I'm smack dab in the middle of uh, what appears to be approximately eighty channels streaming the game. Maybe maybe that's forty. That's fine though. Uh, this is just kind of something that I wanted to uh, try playing on stream, and we're gonna change games if it doesn't work. Um, because uh, this game is kind of just a game that is fun some days and completely not fun other days. So I figure we'll we'll give it a shot, right? You know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with just kind of, you know, take taking a shake. Take, taking a shake at it. Um, the other thing is, if um, if OBS does not get along with this game, which there is a chance of, uh, then we're also going to have to stream something else. Um, but I don't think that should be an issue. Uh, the only reason I'm concerned about that is because this game makes my PC warm. Uh, but I'm not entirely concerned about it uh, due to the fact that uh, hey, the game's not there. That 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 that's that's funny. Oh, there it is. It was literally there, and then I switched scenes and it unloaded. Um, so so the game makes my PC run warm, but it's actually not that resource intensive. It's uh, only about forty percent of of everything, which I guess is a lot. But it's like you know, OBS is. Six to ten percent of my GPU, a third of my yeah, and and it's one percent of my. And it's like okay, cool. A third of in relation to Battlefield, even. But even if it were that, it's just like okay, yeah. I mean, I don't need. Okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So let's just. I mean, let's just go do the. Let's just go do the funny, right? Throw on some mostly horribly unfitting music, because that sounds funny. Uh, I've realized that there are only, like, six maps in this game, I think. For this game mode, anyway. Um, and all the Conquest 64 maps just feel like, like... Like, you can tell that these were designed as 128 maps, because the 20... Uh, or the 64 maps are literally just mega-crunched versions. You, they've just, They just kind of schlonk off, like... Somewhere between a third and half of the map, depending on the map. And then they just change sectors and objectives around. It's just like... Pfft. Like, there's literally two objectives in one of the maps on 128 that I actually really like. Um, there's two maps that I really, 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 really like, and the rest of them I'm like, I don't dislike any. There's one that I'm not huge. Like, I have a least favorite. It's, it's the ice one. But even that one's not terribly unfun. It's just, I mean, depends on the lobbies. If matchmaking is kind to us, we'll have a great time. That That's what I've learned. Um, unfortunately, matchmaking is very difficult with 128 fucking players. Um, and I don't like queuing on the Legacy Maps playlist. Um, we've dropped into a winning lobby. I have no gun. Okay, there we go. Well, fucking... Why did it load me in as a marksman? Why did it load me in as a... Well, I guess we're sniping today, chat. I like how my textures haven't loaded yet, because everything to... Oh my god, there's gonna be invisible people. Holy shit. Okay, so OBS is gonna slow the game down, but as long as the stream looks fine, I kind of don't care, because it'll things will load, right, like, eventually. Alright, chat, get ready to call me Gwen, because we're gonna sizz like nobody's business. Would a, would a pair of Gwen mains just always be scissoring? Uh, or, sorry, a pair of gay Gwen mains, I should say. That was a... <laughs> that joke didn't come out with all the words it needed to work. Would 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 lesbian Gwen mains always be scissoring? That, that's what I'm saying. 
That's a terrible joke, but it's funny. Oh! Anyway, uh, again, call me Gwen, because snip, snip. We got the snipper riffle. Oh. I, that was all me. I mean, look at that. I carried from 60th on the leaderboard. We take those. We, we take loading into a win. Like, that. that's not a bad thing. I have a large pizza I'll be consuming over the course of this game. Not too bad. I think. Because there, there, there's, there's like... I don't even know how many squads there are. Because, like, theoretically there should be 32, but I have literally been below that on the leaderboard, so it can cycle through more than 32 squads, which I find very strange. Because you can't just start a new squad, either. Like, I don't understand it. Try that gun. And now back into Q we go after about two minutes of gameplay. Epic gamer moment! Hey. Wait, I put the same amount of coffee in the pot today and it feels more watered down. Yesterday it felt like extremely sweet. Today it just feels, like, watered down. Yay, load times, because this game's on my external drive. Yo, alert, alert. What was it? Yo, thank you for the follow. Amy. Eee. I got, dude, I got, oh, no, no. I got a new shotgun. I'm scared, Martha. Oh, sorry, it's recon. Uh, is that a second? Let's get a secondary shotgun. Did I just get a secondary shotgun? Oh dear! Oh dear! It's gonna take a minute to load in. It's gonna take a minute to load in. It is gonna be a second to load in. Because again, this game is running on my external hard drive. Also, I hope the game audio is at an okay volume. I've uh, turned it down a fair bit. And just kind of hoped that it's enough. So, you know. Any day now. We wonderful. Okay, there, there we go. There we go. We'll load it in. Ooh, it's a brand new lobby, and I can't spawn on anyone. Um. Oh, oh, oh! This is the map I was talking about. So, um, the the entire. The entirety of A and F have just been, and, and where F, like, just goes down toward E, are schlonked off of the 64 version of this map. Um, and then the two E points are, this is the new gun, right? Yeah, because I have irons on it. Um, it's a battle pass gun. My voice is kind of quiet? That is strange. Oh, that is moderately concerning. Uh... Is Winders the culprit of this one? No? No. Um, well, according to OBS, my voice shouldn't be quiet. I'm in the red. And everything else is still in green. Uh, that is concerning. I will have to inspect that in a moment. Good ass salt. Putting salt on they ashes. Oh, 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 Taco Bell. Taco B return. I missed. The return of Taco B. He lost in Egypt and he's back for revenge. Local cat girl is about to uh, control Taco B to victory. I don't actually know who I'm. I don't know character names. It's, it's like 
Scandinavia or something for all I know, man. There's a flying corpse. Hello. Kaboom. Oh, your volume was at half. Okay, yeah. I, I bet everything was kind of quiet. <laughs> Understandable. Have nice, Dave. I mean, hey, you know, my volume could have been at half. You know, who knows? I mean, the first thing I thought was, oh, God, is Windows doing the thing where it sometimes Windows does not get along with this microphone. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Is, that is, uh, whoo. Reinhardt inbound. Did we get him? Can we steal the tank? I feel like we can steal the tank, right? Yeah, okay. Like, like, it's just like, I feel like we've got to be able to do that in battle, right? You, you've got to be able to just... I'm fucking aerated. Dude, we actually- I was actually- I was playing a game, uh, the other day, and we- I was doing, um, I don't know what map it was, but, uh, hydrate. Okay, hold on, give me a moment. I want to be somewhere that I won't die for free if I do this. Alright, we dip, we hide, we pray. Motherfucker, I knew it! We call that hydrating, by the way. Nobody calls it that. I do now. It's hiding and hydrating. It, it changed the Y to an I. And add me. Hide. Actually, no, don't add me. Then it looks awful. Hydrating. Perfect. Alright, um. So C is a pretty cool objective here. Uh, we should defend B. I, I want to attack C. Um. G. My good sir! I just couldn't move my mouse. Okay. Um, that happens a lot in this game. <laughs> Where the game is just like, mm, you're, you're, you're just gonna, like, jerk your mouse around instead of doing anything. I don't know if it's the game, my PC. It's not my mouse because it doesn't happen with any other... With the, 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 the. It doesn't happen with any other... Okay, well, it does happen with other games. But the only games that it happens in are ones that consistently have issues. You know. It happens in Siege, Paladins, Overwatch... Occasionally smite. League has never not let me move my cursor, although I lose track of it sometimes. Neither is HOTS. Frickin... It doesn't happen in Battlefield Hardline, uh, which I don't play a ton, but I play a little bit of occasionally. Uh, where am I going? Wrong way. Why am I going the wrong way? Just one thing I really like about this game, and I don't know how long this has been a thing in Battlefield, is you have, like, the ability to swap out. You you can set up a whole-ass loadout of attachments. Like, you can literally have three different kinds of attachments on every weapon you carry around. And it's it's super cool. Um, Alright, down to E we go. I would really like a chance to siege C. Switching to your pistol can be faster than reloading. Is that, is that the line? Did I say the line? I think I said the line. Alright, it's time for the Scootaloo grenade. Because scatter sounds like scooter. And scooter reminds me of, of the scoop. The scoopy horse. The scoopy horse. I vibe with... I was gonna say I vibe with the Scoopy Horse, but I kind of just vibe with all the CMCs. I, I vibe with all of the converted mana costs. Um, so C is a really freaking cool objective. Um, I don't have anti-air. I don't know how to acquire anti-air capabilities, really. Um. I don't know if it's a specialist thing or or like or what. I have nades out of a tube, a a, a a noob tube, if you will.
freaking projectile bullets not hitting on frame zero. Ah! <laughs> Being fucking deleted by like seven people. Um, I don't like this gun that much, I'll be honest. Um, but I also haven't had that much of a chance to use it at like decent fights for itself, so. You know, we're gonna have to, uh, keep, keep going with it a little bit. See how the vibes vibe. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, he found me. It's fine. It's too late. Nerd. Get destroyed, you fucking fuck! Word! Where? Oh! Okay, uh, I think it actually... My sensitivity is... Okay, um... That's the wrong button. The fuck? I think I know what the problem might be, actually. I may have, when setting up stream, bumped my DPI button, and the problem is... Uh... So, certain games actually have, like, direct compatibility with my mouse. Um, Battlefield is one of them. Um. For a second, I thought I blew myself up. Uh, Battlefield is one of them, uh, alongside, uh, Killing Floor 2. Um, Battlefield just changes the color of my light for some reason, to pink. Uh, Killing Floor actually changes it based on what's going on. Um, Battlefield may also have disabled my DPI button, uh, which is really unfortunate if I accidentally pressed it before opening the game. Um, that or Battlefield reset my sensitivity settings. Could also be that. Yeah, we're not getting sectory. I I get oh whoa, 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 pickle jars in the mayonnaise. What? I missed every shot. <laughs> I get the kill. What? What? Okay, game. Chat, the game is drunk. Hear me. They call me the drunk gamer, not because I game while drunk, but because when I game. I, I am alcohol to the games. Like, they just... I am all of the drugs as far as games are concerned. I am so good at... This is what I always say. I am so exceptionally good at breaking games horrendously by playing them normally. I missed every shot. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's, that's a headshot kill. Oh! More wheels. Um, I'm just up there for some reason. Uh, I feel like my my sensitivity is supposed to be higher than 20, but I don't remember what it was at. So, and that feels fine, but it felt fine before too. So I'm, I'm not sure. Ooh. Grimbo McJimbo, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna die. No. I like playing as the medic and being able to res people, it's nice, but, um... Yeah, nothing I can do about that. But, uh, comes with the core critical flaw that, uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything if a car walks up to me. Uh, to be fair, if a car is walking, I suppose I should be, uh, more concerned, uh, than, than for my life, uh, because that is a walking car at that point. Um, but, <laughs> the car drives up to me, or a hovercraft, you got, that it's like, I, I, I don't know, man. It's, how do, how get... Where, where, oh, right, because this only shows stuff I have unlocked. Um. Is this the one that locks on? 
I, I can't tell from that video. I not helpful. Um, I'm assuming that it is though. Um, yeah, I should probably run an actual explosive instead of just trying to make it so that um, tanks can't fucking see me. But the scatter grenade is really funny uh, to just lob at a tank and, and see what happens. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm vibing very much with this gun. Like, I thought I would like it a little bit more than, than this, but not really. And then, like, I feel like there just isn't a reason to use either of them over, over this thing. Um... Other than being spicy, I guess. If I wanted to be spicy, I would just do this. Oh, that is a... What? If I wanted to be spicy, I would just do this, chat. I should do this with the other pistol, though. Because I, I, have, I have guns I want to unlock that I have to do this with the other... That I have to get kills with the other pistol. said I was good at this. Nor is this gun designed for this to be for this particular kind of engagement to be fair. Eh, fuck this. <laughs> oh, come on! I had him! Fucking <laughs> frick! More wheels. Oh, that's a freaking salad. Never. No. I am invincible. And you will fear me. Yeah. Oh, they're dead already. The council does not vibe with this gun exactly. Let's well, see, you you say that, but like only fifty percent of the council has been consulted, technically. Okay, to be fair, actually, I suppose I don't know if if Fiora and Starlight would want to play this game, but um, I fucking guarantee you, Fluttershy would at least want to give this game a try. Um. You motherfucker. You fucking Waffle House. Not even an employee, just he just is the Waffle House. S Sandman's son. Sandman's underscore son, you little shit. I got this. I don't know how to leave my shots in this game! I'm faster my bullets! I have no way to read distance, and even if I did, unlike Planet Side, which which you don't have that in Planet Side either, mind you. Even if I could, Planet Side tells you like the bullet drop and bullet speed, right? Battlefield gives you neither of those things. I don't know if bullet drop is actually in Battlefield or not, but Battlefield gives you neither of those things, and like Planet Side, also no way to tell distance. Do all bullets travel at the same speed, or is it gun by gun? Is it class by class? I don't fucking know. I'd actually be curious to learn about that, but, like, those are stats that should be in-game... somewhere. Oh, no! Plop! They'll never find me here! Ha ha ha! There was one here! I was right! The problem is, I'll never find them there! Chat, I'm gonna warb. You know what, actually, though? P -p Pistol pop-off might be real. We're gonna... I right-clicked when I meant to left-click. Uh, I do need to get some kills with... Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no! Okay. I do need to get some kills with this. So, first thing we do on respawn. Or, I guess, on initial spawn. Because it actually... So, here's what's interesting. The fire... Mode. Of your gun... Resets every match, but not every respawn. Owie. 
fucking sniper in a tunnel. Seriously? Um, but yeah, so I don't have to switch every respawn, but I do have to switch every every time that I do initially spawn in with that gun. Still on burst fire, but uh, the next time that I load into a fresh lobby with this thing, for the first time, is gonna be, uh... Dude, ass salting? Why are they salting the asses? Which asses need salting? Why, why, are, why are we feeding salt to donkeys? Come on now. Let's stuck! Huh? Oh, one went in. The rest just yeeted, I guess. Neat. I see. Well, we did it. Fear my power, I am believer. I wish there was a grapple to get up there. From here. That would be cool. Owie, my face. I guess if it was my face, I'd probably be dead. Uh, one thing that does bother me about this game is there's no friendly fire. That's cool. Um, But your teammates uh, can still block your bullets. I heavily dislike when you have pseudo-friendly fire mechanics like that in a game. I don't know if that's like a Battlefield staple. I haven't played any Battlefield games actively since I was a literal child. And I'm going to be honest, uh, that was literally 2142. Was it, which is funny. The, the two games that I've played the most of in the series uh, are uh, canonically the two future games set 100 years apart. Um, and I really wish this game had a campaign because it would have been really cool if it like set up and alluded to things that happened. I think that game had a campaign, but I could be wrong. Um, all right, I want to drop from here. That's why we went all the way up. So, uh, here we go, gamers. Ah! Nope, 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 please, no, please. Okay. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Mother shitballs. Oh. Fuck! He was ready. That wasn't the play. Sadly, assists don't count, which is really frustrating, because there are a lot of times you just kind of get them, and it's just like, okay, well, that sucks. And it's like, okay, but I have to get kills with a secondary. Are you freaking kidding me? It's like, okay, I get it. I have to get kills with a weapon to get attachments with it. If I'm already not using secondaries very much, I don't need the attachments that much, right? That That's fair. Um, But I there are primary weapons, which require you to unlock them by getting kills with different weapons, right? Uh, and some primary... Well, like, okay, so there are three ways to unlock guns in this game. Um, the base game guns you get by leveling up. I think that it's old battle pass guns you get by uh, getting two requirements, one of which is always get X amount of kills with either a gun or a class, and the other is usually always get X amount of kills with a specific gun. Sometimes it'll be... One of them will be two guns. Um, and sometimes it'll be, you know, other stuff, occasionally. Um, but, uh, yeah, some primaries you have to get a secondary. You have to, you have to do secondary stuff. I don't know why I'm not respawning. Uh, I just, I was just like, oh yeah, I'll just wait. No, I won't. There's no one here. Duh. I am a smart cat, okay? Here my intelligence. Snippers! My face! Did I at least get someone with the scatter grenade? I need to be getting kills with those for, uh, or, or assists, uh, for the battle pass. Which I don't need to worry too, too much about. We're insanely early into the pass. Um, and I don't plan on buying it. I just want to get the free stuff, because that's, you know, free stuff. Um, there's not a ton of free stuff, but there's 
a bit. Where am I going? Ah, uh, okay. This is where I want to be going. Yum! That kind of felt like shipwreck. And that felt like fall damage. And I can't jump! I got stuck. That's some bullshit. That, that, that's some bullshit. I'm going home. The fuck is this music? Follow up question Why is the music cut off on OBS? What the fuck? OBS, are, are we okay here, OBS? Uh, my window was not as big as OBS seems to think it was last time iTunes uh, crashed, so now I'm confused as all hell. Hold on. Hold on. OBS is doing all of the drugs. Okay, there we go. What the fuck? That is a an issue. I can't move. Okay. I always panic when I can't move, and then I forget that. Oh yes, there's like an entire second where you just stop moving uncontrollably when the game ends before it tells you that the game is over, which I don't like. Anyway, yeah. Uh, game game's vibing today. Game's vibing. Wait, are they saying we have a cheater on our team or theirs? And also, how do you report people? Um, cheater in enemy team. We're saying, so people on our team is saying that they had a cheater, but we, we won. Oh, 145 kills is, um, yeah, okay. Well, that's, um, I, I don't think I ever interacted with that person, but that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a red flag. Ooh. So the, uh, the guy in third on their team had zero kills and was still the third highest scoring. That's some objective play right there, man. Probably some assists, too. Might have been, might have been, might have been driving around vehicles that the driver doesn't have guns in. That might be what it is. Because that would also get you a ton of assists. I didn't see what their assists were. Right clicking instead of left clicking. God damn it. I was gonna try and find the primary. Game, there are other maps. Not that I knew that, to be fair, because. While I only had a handful of games in, in, in 2042, for the first two years of the game. Did you know this game's from 2021, by the way? Um. Frickin' what's interesting is, um, up until, and again, these were very, very scattered games, uh, I played the game about a week after launch, uh, for the first time, and I played very scattered games of it on Xbox since then, up until, um, last week, I just kind of started playing it, because I had some, I had a bunch of good lobbies, um, and, like, this game's really fun when the lobbies are good. It's, it's different from anything else that, that we do. Um, I really hope that it registered that I clicked on one of these. Okay, it didn't, but we're fine. Huh. I am the eyeball. Maybe this is the seat that person was in. 
Do I have a freaking Sona? I don't understand. Am I Sonar? I, I'm going to get out of this vehicle because I'm confused by it. I was gonna say one of them can sneak a res, but they're up there and dying. Mm. Unfortunate. Oh. Fuck. Anyway, you can see that we're, uh... Oh, that's a teammate. I just saw ass and shot. Owie! Fuck off, man. That's so dumb. How can I watch your response labor? Motherfucking bagel! Go, Morbius. I'm getting rezzed. No, I'm not. Oh shit, oh shit. Let me off the killer cam so I could bet! I'm gonna eat this game chat. There will be four. Mav. Maverick Rainbug Glitch Siege. Ha 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 ha. That's I called it the funny name. That's a corpse. We're fine, we're fine. That's a corpse. We gotta collect it with our flute. Zero blade reference. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is a very large vehicle with multiple guns. Word. How are you even in combat that long and not dead? Excuse me? Oh. Fuck! Echo 2 is secure. Oh, my pistol. No! 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 Never! No! I don't know where anyone else! I've never been on this part of this map before, honestly. The part of the map reminds me of Hardline. I swear I saw someone here. Go, Morbius! I'm just gonna get run over by a very fast tank. Or a hovercraft. There's a hovercraft in this game. I 1v1'd one yesterday. No. Sorry, that was Sunday that I did that. got a new player so the AI just vanished? That's terrible.
did stop trying for pistol kills and just kind of let them come to me, but... But also comet These nuts! You don't have to be good at the game with this gun. I mean, you kind of do, but you, you have to be like vaguely okay at the game with this gun. Not you. It's being good is not a requirement. Ah, oh, that's an enemy using a pair of shoes to land. Frick! I was a pair of shoes, chat. I saw it. What? Going. I'm just searching for anti friendo. I found him! No, I didn't. Oh, they are coming. There's five people in that helicopter, huh? That is an interesting number of humanoid creatures. I love how there's three of them. I shot one of them, missed him, and shot the other one in the process, and then the one that I didn't damage is the one that kills me. You know, sometimes you just gotta ping it. That's all you need. Wait, why am I holding that? Here to have left. I see. Owie, my face. Anyway, here we go. Oh no! What? Steal the kill so bad. I just I wanna I wanna get shit with my pistol. I think I'm actually the gun that I was going for with kills with this thing is actually a secondary. Um But there are I remember seeing a couple primaries, seeing gun names, and it's like, oh that that's a pistol. That's a dog. I'm like, what the fuck's going on there? I thought that was an enemy. No, it's a robot dog. We're fine. <laughs> yes, this game has robot dogs that you can send at people. I'm totally walking away from everything. I'm going that way because there's enemies coming from that way. Oh, that might be their spawn. Actually. No. No, I was just... I was going towards C. Okay. No, I didn't see the C icon. It's not get inable, is it? I got plants, Chuck! I got plants for this guy! Where'd he go? Oh, fuck. He's gone! Tiled up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! A is being capped. How do we get up there? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no! 
Ow! This is the top! Frick! One of these over there, am I just an idiot? Yes, yes, indeed, yes. Okay, this will get me almost up there. I don't know how many people are gonna be here. Did I like hug the wall and get a number? No. If we don't stop them, they'll take every sector. Okay, but what if? Damn it. The scatter didn't get anyone. I'm gonna cry! Frick! There has to be a better way up than that. Come on, there's gotta be, like, a, just a zip from outside, right? There it is, there it is! There it is. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're getting there, all right. No. Morbius! I am in fear! That is an unfriend. That is an unfriend somewhere. Unfriend is dead. Unfriend on a lot? No, he is not. He's just in a really shitty spot. Yo, the res. Yo, the res. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's oh, it's over. This 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 man has no health left in a moment. He's he's vanished. He's gone. I, I don't think we got him. It's crazy. See how many melees it would take to break it. You fuck. All right, I don't want to be up here. I don't like. I don't like this one. I don't know. I'm not huge on this map either, to be fair. This one's up there with the ice one for like just. I'm not. Not big on them. This one, though, is kind of just because, like, everything's really far away and feels super disconnected and, and the map doesn't flow very well and all of the objectives are a chore to fight on and I don't like it. Could you imagine if I, if, I, if I followed that up with, but the ice one has ice physics? That would be hilarious. Just imagine the freaking... You're playing Battlefield, you get thrown on a map, and it's just like, oh, cool! It's like an icy area, and then it's actually just ice physics, and you're just like, ah. And then you have to, uh, because it's an EA game, you have to pay $10 to get the snow boots to get rid of the ice physics. <laughs> oh, God. Otherwise, you're dealing with ice physics on ice, and you're walking slowly in the snow, and you can't sprint. Oh, who am I kidding? That's not $10. That's like 20 bucks to EA. Playing the $60 game you've... Sorry, this one's playing the $70 game you've already purchased? Now you got to pay $20 to do that. You know what's funny, actually, that I've seen a lot of people do? Uh, I guess not a lot, a lot, but I, I've, se I've seen enough people do it that it's, it's something that I've noticed uh, a fair bit of. Um in recent years. With the move to always online games, I've seen some people that are like, you know, because, okay, ha having to pay for your online uh, on console, you know, is, is a bit of an awkward thing. Probably doesn't need to be there. But one of the things I've seen people say against it in recent memory is how, like, oh, games are always online now, so you, you, you know, half the games you buy, you need to have gold to, to, uh, to connect to. And it's like, I think what's funny about that, I did not want to come here. I think what's funny about that specific point is that, um, 
that's fine. I almost got him right the fuck back. I should have just dropped it on myself. Um, but like, the system predates games being like this always online. And then also, most always online games, most, you're able to play online and just not party up with, um, or like some games are always online, but you can still do like the single player content, you know, stuff like that, uh, without, without having gold or plus or whatever the fuck, which is like, good workaround. I just think it's funny that people will be like, this thing that the system wasn't designed for that happened 20 years later unrelated to the system is suddenly the problem with the system. No. It is not. You know what is the problem? This map. Please, can this game end? I will say, every time I play this game, though, I'm just like, man, I could be playing Planetside right now. But then I never actually end up loading up Planetside instead of it. Shit. Well, I guess you could call this guy and I, uh, the both of D's, because we're both going to D. Subjective. Okay, bye. See, see you later, Tails. Oh, frick! Ouchie! Alright, so going in that way is like a big no-no. How do we get there? I don't know how to get there. Any other way. Can I just like scale the fucking mountain, maybe? Can we just climb the mountain? Is that will it let me do that? Can I can I, can I just climb the mountain and, and like be there from above? Is there an entry up top? Come on now. Come on now, game. You know you want to give this to me. Please. Yeah, there we go. There's our outside entry. All right, okay. Oh no, more wheels. That was a fucking dog. Okay, that guy was literally just not, I was not getting hit markers even though my crosshair was right over him. I'm confused. If I, if I wanted terrible hit reg, I would just play Siege. Come on, game. Um. My KD like two and twelve, four and twelve. I underestimated myself. That's not. Oh, motherfuck whale! I caught him in the reload, baby. Let's go! What? <laughs> Everything about that was so horribly stupid. I know there are teammates and no one's gonna shoot at these guys. It's just three people there and everyone just ignores that. I, I guess as long as we outnumber them, they don't cap, but we don't outnumber them. An objective. More wheels. Oh, boo, I only got an ass with it. Why did my gun not start shooting? Why did my gun pause shooting? What the fuck? Chat, I hate this game! Chat, I'm going to eat the game. I am going to consume the video game. This game will be in my stomach in a matter of hours. All of its files! I literally can't see him. Where was he? No, hold on. No, hold on. Where, where, where? Where the fuck 
was he? I want to know where he was. Because he was not visible. I don't understand where he was. Like, he just was never in my line of sight. Ah. Shot multiplier in this game, I wonder. Uh, you know what I haven't done is run an ad break. Um, hold on. Battlefield 2042 headshot multiplier. Uh, it's class by class. That is interesting. Oh, no, it's not. It used to be class by class. No? Maybe. Uh, yes. Maybe? I don't know, because, okay, that thread said something on Google, but the comment doesn't exist. It's not even like there's a deleted comment. That, that comment just doesn't exist anymore. Okay, well, why the fuck are we getting headshot multipliers for literally every other game? How do you get headshots? And then the, the first, the, the only suggestion is aim for the head. Duh? I literally cannot find the headshot hit multiplier. What the fuck? I literally cannot find what the headshot multiplier is in, in this game. What the fuck? Oh, wait. I have to go up. Fuck. I didn't realize I spawned here. I'm just clicking. There's a guy behind the stairs. Okay. One thing about Battlefield is that, like, you never see the same fucking person twice half the time. We are... not in a good position right now. So... I'm gonna try and make something spicy happen. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. One thing I've really been not liking about this game... And this is something that I run into in basically every shooter that isn't exactly Siege. Dude, dude. People walking needs to just be fucking louder in shooters. Like, you can't hear people walking in shooters that aren't Siege. Like, Valorant is probably the... Valorant is definitely the next best one. Probably followed by Paladins and Overwatch. Counter-Strike, I have played enough to know that I think that the game is terrible, but not enough to really have information on how good the sound is. Nor have I ever been... Because because I think with Counter-Strike is... Honestly, that doesn't come up much in, in the time that I've had in the game. And I don't know how much it comes up in regular gameplay. So I don't know how good the audio is because I've literally... The thing is, it doesn't even matter how much Counter-Strike I've played, because regardless of the amount, none of that has ever put me in a position where sound matters to the degree that it bothers me uh, for not being Siege audio. But, dude, COD, Halo, Battlefield, Planetside, um, Splitgate, dude, people are fucking dead silent. You do not make a sound walking Game. Like holy shit, and I get it. I get, I get that hearing people walking isn't as important in those games. So of course not. And then you look like, yeah, no, it's a, you, you, you just have to turn your volume settings to the, the, the slider at the max and this like rest of them at zero. And it's like no, fuck off. I should be able to set it to night mode and hear people walking. You know, if I have it in studio reference theater edition deluxe, yes, of course. If I'm you know hearing footsteps, I'm also deleting my eardrums from gunfire, but, like, if I'm in night mode, I should be able to hear footsteps if I don't have any other audio other than the game. Granted, I have music right now, but even when I don't, it's just like, nah, you can't hear fucking shit. 
Overwatch and Paladins players, like, oh man, that character's so loud. No, they're really not, though, is the thing. They're really not. They're actually very quiet. Um, I think it's funny that some people are like, I I've, I've heard people say that Sombra, you know, Sombra's invis, you know, you can just play around it by listening because she's not, you know, because she's very loud. And it's like, no, she's one of the quietest characters in the game. And again, I get that for, like, normal shooters, it's less important, but it still feels bad coming from Siege. And it's like, if, if... I don't know. I just, I just think that that would be a nice thing to have in, in more games. Just have Siege quality audio. Tell me I'm not driving. Thank God. But yeah, g g give me like Siege audio in more games, please. Actually, to be fair, this game probably didn't have the dev time for it, even if they wanted to. But also, past Battlefield games have this issue as well. It's weird. Uh, Battlefield is like COD in that I'm really picky with the series and what games I like. Um, honestly. The Battlefield games I tend to like are just the ones that aren't set in the present. I liked 2142 growing up, although to be fair, I was a kid, I liked almost everything I played. Um, oh, that's a car, I can, I can shoot that and I should as well. I'm still killing the hovercraft. I'm tempted to get out, because I see someone up there. But we're gonna vibe, we're gonna vibe in the car for a minute. I know it's, I know it's, I know it's not a car. Shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, Morbius! No! Audi. Made the right call. Hey, it's the coffee song. Or team uh, coffee. <gasps> oh, I didn't get it. Damn. Unfortunate. First. Fuck off! Where, where are my bullets going? Where are my shots going? There was... Hmm... Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay, game. We might be switching games. I don't think I was supposed to get that respawn. Uh, okay. It un would me and then wouldn't let me shoot. Yeah, we are, uh, switching games if this keeps up. Like, I'll finish the match, but... Oof. Oof. Is not a good. Is not a good. Oh my god, it won't let me switch. Oh, because I'm not a medic. Duh. Seriously! What is the headshot multiplier, and how much damage is my gun supposed to do? Okay. Literally all I'm finding is that one exists, and people are unhappy with it. What the fuck?
What in the fuck? Okay, it got nerfed in Season 7. Why the fuck is it not available online anywhere? Okay, so it's... Okay, so it is class by class. Okay, so it's... Double damage for ARs and LMGs. Is what I'm seeing. I don't think that's accurate. To be fair, I, I guess the firepower stat probably doesn't mean that's how much damage it's doing, though, huh? Because otherwise 56 would be insane. What the fuck is the firepower stat, then? Right? Like... Also, this map is really cool. Um... Someone's behind me. Waffle! I did not, I think, get my kill stolen, because I think they died trying to get the other guy. Which is kind of funny. Oh, he is dead. Never mind. I wasted my scoop. I wasted my scoopy loopy. Oh, what a cry! I won't say the heck word, but only after a blood cry. Why do we just have, like, 20 people defending this place? It's like the most mid-Corvette of all time. Come on now. <laughs> That's not true. The most mid-Corvette of all time is probably the C4. But, no, because that one was explosive, though. Yeah, no, the two's... Yeah. Like, the one stands out because it was... The one stands out by default because it was, you know, the original. It, it You know, it, it was the Corvette for a little while. Um... What do you mean in combat? Is my crosshair it is over his face dude that's no we're 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 done after this game we're i'm we're gonna fucking play something else after this okay that's bullshit uh that is the kind of bullshit that i don't fucking deal in dude oh no, that's not a door there are windows that look exactly like i mean not exactly because they look like windows but they're the same fucking Thing. I just feel like they should also open. They can be at some point. Uh. Like, that's just actually fucking frustrating. Like, I'm sorry, if someone is not moving and my crosshair is over them and I click, at least the first shot should be hitting. Like, like, guaranteed. Like, there's no reason for the first shot to have any level of randomness. Please. <laughs> it might not be randomness, though. It might just be shit right. Like, I don't fucking know. Oops. Did I nail it? I did. Too bad he's all the way over there now. Fuck, and there's like three people there. Man, I hit the nade too. I got the shot right where I wanted. Damn. I cry. I cry. I'm 
I am the Sade. And in they go! Owie! That is the worst possible RNG. You see the targeting area! You see the spread area from my crosshair there. What the fuck are the odds of, of hitting that few shots? Like, that's insane. Oh dear. Motherfucker, I couldn't get away in time. That was just a shit spawn. I'm getting rest. I have had... I have had people quit in the middle of my fucking charges like that. I don't understand why. I don't need to stop shooting, you idiots. <laughs> Come on, no one got him. How? No one's getting me, I'll tell you that much. I do believe I am on fire. Come on, come on. Back! Balls! Oh! I see. Why me? Why me? Why only me? Why can't I prone? There we go. I like me double sprint. There we go. Ow! Okay, there's like four people watching that. so often that I'm glad that you can't friendly fire with vehicles. I would have so many more deaths, like, every game. Ah! These nuts! But that time we get them. I think literally every shot I fired there hit. I think literally every shot I fired that time hit, but the last time it was just like, no. Fuck you. Uh, this isn't the gun that I have the thermal on, is it? No, it's not. The SMG that I have the thermal on. That's not the button I meant to press. You know, if you think about it, every time you miss input on a keyboard, it is just a typo to your gameplay. Fuck. You need to stop trying to get pistol kills. Oh, if I'd known, that would have been a great place to get my fucking scatter. Oh! I blow myself up with that. Is it a scatter side? I guess we're like a cool game. Probably would be called that, yes. Anyone want a free rest? It's actually a squad medic coming and dead. I don't think he was coming toward me, but I was gonna say coming this way. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hop off after this game. The vibes are uh whew, they're not. Sucks, it's only been an hour. Um 
Believe it or not, I thought these games were lasting like an- Oh, shit! Was that an enemy down there? <laughs> Backs away slowly. Scatter grenade specifically says that it's good at killing killing infantry, and I'm just like, no, we're, we're gonna we're gonna throw this at tanks. But I don't have good explosives. Nip snip. I literally there's nothing I can do about that. It's literally spawned me in line of sight of a tank. What what am I meant to do about that? You can't just spawn me where a tank can see me. Dude, uh, speaking of tanks, by the way, um, fucking Flats, uh, pretty big Overwatch streamer, tried Paladins for April Fools. Um, I left a comment on his video, and I, I don't think he's seen it, but, um, I left a comment on his video, and I'm like, the thing you have to learn about Paladins is, tank and support are not DPS plus. And, uh, did not get much in the way of response to that, but, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, don't like that design. All right, all right, hold on, wait, hold on, I got a plan. Shall I have a plan? We just projectile vomit some explosives out of our hand. We're really at that point. We're just playing as Data, aren't we? <laughs> I couldn't move my aim. Because I was vaulting. Why can't I move my aim while I'm vaulting? What mechanical McFuckery is that? I'm going home. I'm going home. Yeah, we're not getting rest. I cry. I cry. If I'm not having luck with the LMG, maybe I should switch to the SMG, but also I need to get more kills with the LMG so I can get better attachments. I don't like... I like having to earn stuff, right? Like, it, it feels good, but I, I don't like the way that it's typically done in shooters, just purely off the fact that it feels like you, you just snowball, but like long term, which makes it feel real bad early on. Now... This would feel a lot less bad if assists counted, or if it was by damage dealt, right? I think damage dealt is probably the best way to do it. Just like, okay, deal X amount of damage with this guy, you know? And maybe make it the amount for like, one and a half or two times the amount of kills, right? So so instead of, um, you know, if some of these get 10 kills, instead of deal 1,000 damage, it would be probably, you know, 1,500 or 2,000 damage. The trade-off there is, you don't have to finish the kills, um, and then maybe have kills, like, grant whatever that multiplier is, right? So, so basically, like, if you actually are able to finish the kills, have, have assist grant half the multiplier, right? So basically, if you get a kill, if you do 100 damage, you get it, but if that 100 damage, if, if part of that 100 damage is an assist, then you'd get you know, 25 or 50, depending. You don't see me. I'm like if John Cena was a cat girl right now. Ah! <laughs> Your disc is running out of space. What do you mean stop current capture? There is no current capture. What are you... Huh? 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 What do you mean current capture? There is no current capture. What the fuck? Outplayed is just randomly fucking recording for some reason, and it is devouring my C drive. Hold on. I don't know if this is gonna come up on stream, but we're gonna have to. Uh, why? Why are we recording? Outplayed. What? What's going on? Okay. 
Okay, this is from yesterday. It's not gonna show me anything. Fuck off, dude. Why is outplayed recording? God, this thing has so much recoil. Ouchie, my face. All right, let's uh, let's switch off the LMG for now because it is not working. Boink. I guess C1 because they're they're on C2 pretty pretty nationally. Pretty nationally. Two shots! Get the fuck out of here with that shit, dude. I use a DMR, it takes two headshots to kill, and it just fucking two body shots, and I'm, I'm dead. Fuck you. Is this the one that I have the thermal on? Yes. Okay. I'm assuming this would work through smoke. I, like, I, I, you know, I, one would assume anyway. There's nothing to imply that it wouldn't. Other than, like, a little bit of ligma, and that's basically it. <laughs> and there's someone behind me. Ass timing right there, and then he just doesn't see him. Terminated, huh? I've never seen that death message before. <sighs> what the fuck does that mean? Just terminated. No one, no one, no one is, no one is the killer. Just, just terminated. Owie. Huh? What happened? How'd I die? I don't hit it! I've just literally been fighting for the C points this entire fucking game. Average Battlefield gameplay, to be fair, though. Now we go. We got this. Drugs! Now we good. No, we're not. Oh, he was about to run into them. No! All right, that's the play. That's the play. We run into... Oh, they coming. But if I can get in there again... Oh, no, no. I know where they are now. I know where they are now, though. There's too many. We're team, we're team. Why am I the only one? I cry. And they're inside? When did they get in? When did they come in? I did not invite you into my Taco Bell. I grew this Taco Bell at my own home from a Taco Bell plant. Not, not a taco plant, a taco bell plant. They'll never find me. Can I just walk out of here from here? I can't. That's kind of funny, actually. What? <laughs> Have fun, nerd. He going. Ooh. What? He was on top of it. 
huh? I'm going home. I'm going home. What the hell? What the hell? That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. Hold on, I'm tabbed out. Checking on, checking on stuff. Alright, we're good. That's insane. So the scatter part of scatter grenades only does like 30 fucking damage apparently. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah, I just, I would really like to get thermals on like a better fucking gun. I want to get a better AR. I don't know, maybe the thermals are SMG exclusive, but the thermal's cool. They can assist with the scatter or a kill with the scatter. Let's go. I cracked. As soon as I started shooting, he just like over to another spot. All right, the game's over. I'm free. Okay, hold on. I said. Ahem. Excuse me. Game. The. The game. The, the match is. There we go. Game's over. All right, we're switching games. Um, well, that was fun until it, you know, until I died like four times in a row to putting my crosshair over someone's face and them not dying. Anyway, um, damn, best squad was on our team even though we lost. That's, that's pretty cool. Career best damage dealt 1,600. I've had more individual class weapon damage than that in games, so I don't think that's true. Um, thank you, Navy FPS, for the follow. Uh, based on that name, I hope you're not here for Battlefield, because we're, we're hopping off. I, it's, I, not after that. No, I'm, 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 I'm uh, still going to be live, but we're switching it. Might still be a shooter, to be fair. I'm, I'm unsure. I'm undecided. I have a few things in mind, but I'm not 100% decided yet, because, um, I, because I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Daily streams? Uh, kind of. Ish, but not really. Still can't stream on weekends. No, I'm just streaming when I can. Um. I also have, you know, I have stuff I need to record as well. I'm a Battlefield player. Neat. Yeah, uh. I had a few deaths. I had a few deaths that game earlier uh, that were literally just, I put my crosshair over someone, not even the first bullet fucking connects, and it's people standing still. I I, I know bullets in Battlefield and Projectile before before you say there's a travel time. I'm aware of that. Multiple of those times, people weren't moving, and it just, it just shit wrecked. And it's like, nah, dude. The first bullet should connect. Um... And sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It's an online game. It's not siege levels of, of, of bullets not connecting. I, I've seen worse. Still better than siege. <laughs> like, oh god. To be fair though, what game has worse hit right than siege? Like, like there's a couple that are on bad days as bad as siege. What game has worse hit right than siege, right? <laughs> oh god. Um. All right. So let's see here. There's, there's a few things we could get. On. I mean, I could literally just get on planet side. Like that is always an option. We we have Battlefield at home. I actually like it more than Battlefield. I just burnt myself out on it by playing 50 hours in the span of. Two weeks. That's not true. Actually, most of that time probably came in the span of one week. No, it didn't, because I was streaming more. So yeah, it was probably it was probably all of my non-stream time for two or three weeks, and then um I got burnt out. Also, because most of that time was solo and Planet Side is um Planet Side's more fun when you're playing with people. Um I mean there's always Overwatch, Paladins. Finals, I guess. Not not really the vibe, but you know, we could. 
Uh, we got Smite. I uh, can do racing games. I have plenty of those. I could get on Hardline. <laughs> it's a great game. It's a dead game, but it's a great game. I get on Killing Floor. Um, I actually had an idea for something that I want to install. Oh, right, because fucking... Yeah, because... Epic is trying to update something. And then Outplayed is just like, nah, this is mine now. Okay, Outplayed says that it was capturing, but then it wasn't. And now I'm just missing a fuckload of space, and I'm very, very confused and upset. Because I would like to know where the fuck this capture is... It's not. It's nowhere. It doesn't fucking exist. What the hell? Uh, right. So that is all of the fucking space on one of my hard drives just gone to a bug that I don't know where the file that is the result of this bug would be. Not here. Hey, so it's not in the outplayed folder. It's it's not in my videos folder. Is it in the actual like folder that the outplayed exe is in? No. No, it is not. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? How do I get the space back that I've just lost? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? This is now a this is now a PC troubleshooting stream. Welcome. Welcome. Did you just suggest hardline that game as server still? Um Dead ones, but as of about a year ago, yes, it did. Very, very dead. You pretty much have to go into the custom browser. Um, but yeah, Hardline's still, Hardline's still up. Yeah, like. There's literally nothing. There's nothing in this folder that is this size. I have no idea what the fuck. But it was just, it, so it was just randomly capturing for no reason that entire time. The video now doesn't exist, but has eaten up all of the free space on the hard drive. The fuck? I, like, I actually am very confused. I am immensely confused. I don't understand this. Yeah, and I just can't fucking find anything. I, I have no idea what the problem is here. I, this might be a thing where if I restart my PC, I'll have the space back, like, magically, but... Ugh.
I've just seen the stupidest tier limit tech, and that is really fucking funny, and I love that card anyway. That, that card's really fucking cool. And I'm so glad that it's being played, even if it's as a fucking degen super poly target. That, that's still cool, dude! And it's tier limit doing it! That's epic! Maybe we just play Master Duel. Uh, <laughs> do, do, do we just record on the... I did not mean to click on my Steam games uh, scene, but I guess... Not, you guys can't tell the difference between that and this. Yes, you can. Why is the overlay higher here? What the fuck? I, I think I'm in a different spot as well. No, I'm actually not. Why is my overlay position different? But then it's not in these, but I copy pasted it. So how is it different here? I don't get it! I'm going home. I'm, I'm going home. Okay, so what game tried to update? Okay, nothing, apparently, because, ah, Fortnite is trying to update. That's not even installed on the drive that's out of space! That's not even installed on the one that's out of space! Huh? We can play Predecessor. Like, that, 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 that's a good game. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Um, thinking. See, I shouldn't have closed the game yet because I don't know what to play next. Uh, like I don't know. What's what's uh what's a fun one to play? You know, what's what's a good one to play that we can just load up? Siege, smite. Titanfall is theoretically an option. Halo, also on the table. Um, Halo, not quite on the table. I, I have plans for Halo. I don't know if that's going to start this week or next week, but I have plans for Halo. Um, I could just do Slime Rancher, but I kind of want to give that like its own dedicated stream series. Siege is updating. Well, uh, that's gonna be a while then. Um. Hmm. Uh. I don't know. I don't know what I want to play. Do not know, but I want to play. Let's see here. Let, let me just let me just poke through, right? Like, okay. So let me let me let me think logically about this, right? So we have a bunch of games that we could play. Um, I'm only gonna be on for like whatever I get on for like two hours. Um, but I'm also going to be on for about two hours. Um, you know what, chat? We're going to get on planet side. That, that's what we're going to do. Well, we're getting on planet side. If Steam wants to open it, please and thank you. Uh, that, there we go. Okay, perfect. Let me edit stream sliding plants or something. That, that's that's a good title, right? For uh, for plant slide two. All right, we're gonna motherfucker. Why did it log me in? I don't know what fucking email I used. Oh my god. I don't remember what email I used. I have a few for reasons. Surely I didn't just use this one. I didn't. No.
Nope, that's from my secondary account. Okay. Because there is a, an account switch button. Um... Right, because that email service says my password is wrong on this computer. It's actually been on every computer for the past six years? Don't know why. Because I, it's, I literally have the exact same password for the account I'm trying to sign into stored in my phone that I do on my computer. Uh, when I enter it on my computer, it just doesn't work. When I enter it on my phone, it's just like, no, we're fine. No, it's actually not doing that. Uh, that's concerning. What the fuck? Okay. That's problematic. Now we're email troubleshooting. We. I love the fact that to reset my password on my phone, it's just like, yeah, use your authenticator app. To reset my password on my computer, it's just like, nah, fuck you. Why? Well, I know why, because I've never been signed in on this on this PC before, but like... Fucking hell. Uh, what the fuck do you mean invalid? Are you fucking kidding me? That is not the invalid verification code. Excuse me? Why did that take... Four fucking attempts. Why did that take four fucking attempts? That's insane. Three of them were literally immediate. Like, the code had still 20 seconds out of 30 left on it. process I have to go through just to find out if this is even the right account. Oh my god, dude. Give me a moment, chat. We'll be on the game in a moment, eventually. First off. Oh, okay. So we do this. And then I can also check this email to see if this email... This email is not the one. Okay, is this email the one? No. Oh, I don't want your app. Every email service is like, don't our app. I don't want to. Okay, that's concerning. Uh, none of my email addresses have uh, my main daybreak email. Uh, or have my main Daybreak account tied to them. That's extremely problematic.
What the fuck? What the fuck? How is that possible? Unless I should be searching for planet side in my emails. Which is possible, to be fair. Like, I, I guess that's what I have to do, is check all of these emails for planet side instead of daybreak. Well, I know it's not this one because it's my alt account. What the fuck is going on? the name. Found the name, don't have the password. But I don't know what the email associated with the account is, is the issue. And it's saying the password is wrong. Which makes no fucking sense. literally have the password fucking saved. Are you fucking kidding me? I want to just let me fucking log in. Literally, it's not tied to any of my- none of my email addresses. What if I search my fucking username? Because- because on the email that has my alt, it, it just has my username in plain text, which... Fine, it's a username. the sir unless it's like old well if it's old and in my spam folder then it's fucking gone is the issue though right like if this shit got dumped in my spam folder i'm never gonna find the fucking account period when our senses and our minds will no longer respond to moderate stimulation Trapped in a nightmare in my mind, everything that I might everything fear, and I fight to get by. Um, I'm clear. Everything's picking sides, and I'm right here. It's not Keep running from things that I've done in my past, hoping to become someone that could last. Get out of my way. <sighs> Hold it back. Don't be a little face from my way. I'll say it to your face. I'll say it to myself, and I'll put you in your place. And this world is my prey. I kill without a trace. Give a fuck what you say, because they'll go my way. Make a buck from the pain. Not enough. I'm insane. Want to leave a stain on this world, on your brain. You won't ever be the same. Grab the wheel, grab the reins. Gotta talk to yourself. Scare away all the pain. Oh. 
are you inside? I'm sick of never feeling quite right. I'm gonna make a change this time. No, because that's you better do the same wrong thing. email. Are you just a regret? Are you always upset? Do you need to reset? Figure out what's up next. Trust me, take a deep breath. Everything you'll forget. This is now a real threat to every doubt in your head. What emails have I not fucking gone through? I play the fucking game. I'm sick of the declining mental health. How about you go help out your fucking self? Take control of your life, don't need no one else. It's about time that we all get help. From myself, like a fucking shell. Like, I, I don't. Find a way to do it all by yourself. We're always deferring to somebody else. But the key is to show everybody, don't tell my God. Are we all to blame? We should feel ashamed. It drives me insane. It feels like a game. We all lose and blame someone else because we feel like they rigged the game. But no, ain't nobody ever gonna stop you. Put your mind to it, nobody will drop you. All the way to the top, never stop you. Literally, no none of my emails. I have a daybreak account tied to them. I'm sick of never feeling quite right. I'm gonna make a change this time. You better do the same and climb. Are you just a regret? Are you always upset? Do you need to reset? Figure out what's up next. Trust me, take a deep breath. Why has it fucking signed me out? Why, why, why is my password different? don't understand Fucking. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? The problem is, I know my username, but like, I don't know the email tied to the account. I, I, I my password is saved, and. So fucking stupid. Somehow I have to escape. This is fucking insane, dude. Absolutely fucking insane. What happened to the nation we all knew? We're crushed under discovers rule. Where has How is that password wrong if it's saved? I like I don't not update my fucking passwords. I, I don't not update my passwords. I don't just not update my fucking passwords. It's not a thing I, I- I don't just fucking forget to update my passwords like this. It's, it doesn't fucking happen. It's just my- my password I just don't fucking have anymore and I don't have a fucking email tied to this account anymore either.
Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? Oh, hey, all the space is back from the mysterious disappearing fucking file. Like, what the fuck do you mean invalid credentials? No, no, it's it's not. That's the thing. I've literally just gone through every single password that I have used in the past fucking decade, by the way, and they're all wrong, which is insane and impossible. It means that I don't have a password on Daybreak anymore. The regular login page doesn't let me log in through another platform. What? I must verify my email address before contacting. That's insane. Yeah, I literally don't have an email address tied to this account. I literally don't have an email address tied to this account. That's insane. Okay, that's literally what went wrong is that I no longer have an email or password. How does that fucking happen? How does that happen? I literally just d did not disconnected my fucking email and and removed my password. That is insane. I also can't, like, do anything on the website. Um, this is concerning. Just a little bit concerning. Uh, it doesn't... I still can't do anything, uh, is the problem. Okay, but... Okay, so now... So now, right, if I do this... No... No... Nope, it's not there. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking god, dude. I, I neither have an email nor a password. And setting up a new email did nothing. Okay, okay, all right, cool, great.
don't think that's quite the yes, Anakin. Sure. Try that. Not that it works. Can't sign into PSN. Okay. You must verify your email. I like I don't okay. I, I can't submit a fucking support ticket because I don't have the email, but, like, it's telling me that I have to submit a fucking support ticket. What the actual fuck? I literally don't have an email tied to this account anymore. There's, there's nothing I can fucking do. This is absolutely insane. I literally can't log in. I, I literally can't log in. Oh my fucking god. I have to... This is... This is fucking insane. This is fucking insane. This is fucking insane. Like, I can't fucking log in. And I'm getting errors. I can't even use my fucking ult. Okay, there's just something wrong with Daybreak's login right now, then. I guess we're not fucking playing planet side then cuz it just isn't fucking possible cuz I don't have a password because I've written down every password that I have used in literally the last 10 years literally every single one and I've tried them all and they're all wrong I've tried every email I have used in the last 10 years um, and all but one that I've used in my life because I don't have a single account tied to that other than... I think that's exclusively my Webkins account. So, you know. For which I theoretically still have the login. Um, assuming that, you know, no one's hijacked my account while it's been dead. Um... Fucking hell. Um, yeah, so we just can't fucking play Planetside ever again. Wow, like that is so fucking insane, man.
Like, that's- this is fucking insane. Like, that's so fucking bullshit. I mean, there's just fucking nothing I can do about this. Looking through the planet side discord to see if there's anything recent that's been like about this, but there's there's just nothing. There's just fucking nothing, dude. God, this is insane. I don't understand why it's not, like, I'm literally logged in in the launcher, and then when I try to log in, it logs me out and then tells me to log in. But I can't log in, because every password is wrong. Every password I have ever used is wrong, which is not possible, obviously. But it's happening. fucking insane. Absolutely fucking insane. There's no reason for this. what the fuck to, like I I don't even know what the fuck to play for the next two hours now I had a plan I, and then nope I just I just don't have a password or an email tied to the fucking account I, it, it, I was like how is that possible I didn't, I didn't. how that happens it makes no sense it's utterly fucking ridiculous it's it's completely insane it, it's completely fucking insane i mean how does 
how does a, a, how does an account just not have a fucking email or password? That's not possible. You can't make an account on these services without either of those, let alone like, like without one of those two things, let alone without both. But every single one that I have used. It's fucking ridiculous. Things we keep inside I know I'll be alright I'll fight with will and time Yeah, I won't lose my Wake up and every day told me a promise That I would make it one day as an artist Music's the only thing keeping me honest I know that I want it, I'm hoping I got it Addicted to all this remotely melodic See how some people become alcoholics Addiction is real but mine isn't as toxic Although sometimes I feel a little psychotic I know that I got it in me Can't stop what sent me to the top Believe me, I'm not resisting It's all beginning I'm all but willing to break the ceiling Oh, I'll take a chance and do it Take a stance and prove it To yourself and prove it Every day you're moving Every day's a new one Don't fear to lose one Bounce back and move on the things we keep inside I know I'll be alright I'll fight with will and time I won't yeah. lose my Some days are my worst days But every day is a work day I fell in love with the wordplay If it's a dream then you're never really working And now the tides are turning And as I keep on learning I only do what's worth it don't waste my time cause I earned it Never got rid of the thirst So much it hurts Listen to my words Everyone's the worst That's why I'm immersed in my own universe And I know it's a curse Probably put me in a hearse But I still write a verse Maybe time will reverse If I put in the work While everything hurts Take a chance, make a plan You can do it, yes you can Take a stand in your land And command of your brand off The things we keep inside I know I'll be alright I'll fight with will and time I'm losing my mind, everything will be fine Know that I'll be alright, that I'll be alright I'm losing my mind, everything will be fine Know that I'll be alright, that I'll be alright I'm losing my mind, everything will be fine Know that I'll be alright, that I'll be alright I'm losing there's, there's my no mind, fucking reason
I just, I don't even fucking know. I, I don't even know what to fucking do. Like, I, I don't know what I want to fucking play right now. This is absolutely insane. The, the fact that every single email that I've ever used in my life is not giving me anything is, is absolutely insane. The fact that every password I've used in the past decade is wrong is insane. Like, like, what the fuck am I even supposed to? I just now I feel like shit because I, I like I have people coming in and out of stream. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Changing fucking stream title. Um, so the people know what they're getting in for. I, like, I literally just don't have a fucking email or password. It's absolutely insane. Uh, it's just like, I want to fucking, I want to do something. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go refill my water and possibly my coffee.
lost my thoughts, feel like I could drown. No, no, can't have it now. Buried so deep, I'm below the ground. I didn't need end up refilling both. All on my own, I could feel it now. One known, so my heart pants because I don't understand what happens now. Oh no, I bless in peace. Leave behind a lesser me. Working hard to better me. Looking back, I'll never be. Let's go recklessly. Fighting to forget it's me. I feel inside it's best to ring, but I just want to be the one that let me down. Looking at myself right now The mirror nearly breaks itself I'm screaming out cause I need help And you're the one that let me down I'm looking at myself right now The mirror nearly breaks itself I'm screaming um. out cause I need help You held me back soon as we met. You were always scared of what God, happens that next. I'm prepared good. so you feel regret. I'm upset because I wasted time. I sat at the face. <sighs> every time I played Battlefield, like I said earlier, every time I played Battlefield, it's just been right, like, like I've just been like, okay, um, I wanna, you know, I wanna play Planet Side more at some point, and and then I finally decide to. <sighs> I don't understand how that happens. Like, like, genuinely, I'm... I, I'm beyond lost as to how this is even... I don't know what the fuck I want to do. And why is that window big? Oh, windows, why? I mean, it's not full screen, so it could be worse. Full screen is a, a, a plague, and we should eradicate it. Like, genuinely. Stop making full screen the default, and, like... Like, okay, yes, some people are objectively wrong and play with full screen on. Um, fine, leave it there for the... Don't leave it there for the stupid people, though. We literally have windowed full screen. So full screen is pointless. It's literally windowed full screen is every benefit of full screen without any of the drama. There's no reason to ever just be in full screen. Uh, I have no idea what I want to play though. Um, I have about an hour and a half ish. A little bit of spillover time, so we'll probably run into that. Um, just so that I'm doing shit for all the time that I've missed. Um, but I I have no idea what I want to play right now. Is is the primary issue? I don't fucking know, man. I mean, that was just a huge fucking mental killer. Uh, why aren't you on planet side? Because, uh, Daybreak's services are extremely functional. Anyway, um, I think it's very interesting that you came, uh, straight from Discord into my stream. Uh, thanks for the support. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be, we'll be seeing you never. Like, what do we want to get on at this point? This is kind of a question. No. I have no idea. That's the problem. <sighs> I don't know. I 
And there were some funny new Yu-Gi-Oh cards revealed last night. I could try and do shit with those, but I don't have anyone on to really test with. I did, um... Give me a second. I, I am actually, I'm actually, well, here, I'm going to pull this up over here because this is, I guess, theoretically, the scene that it makes the most sense on. Um, okay, I'm literally never playing Skull and Bones, so we're going to remove the capture for that. We don't but, um, this is not set to be correct. Correct. Okay, cool. Um, switch this to Cap Dueling Book, and then to the dueling book prop. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. It's not snapping! Fuck. Eat a fucking OBS. Fuck, I hate OBS. I'm going home. Ah, uh, there we go. In we go. In we go. Um... But yeah, so, uh, this list is terrible, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, interesting. I, able, I was able to find uh, a hand last night where, stupid, it's stupid, um, I ended on Psychic and Punisher, but I also had, so this deck's funny. In that, um, it is an incredibly similar deck to Snake Eye in one specific regard, and that is that, uh, so, Snake Eye is level one fire dot deck. White Forest, or White Woods, as, as seems to be the more popular, and alliteration's cool and all, but it, it don't roll as well. Um, th they are the Snake Eye of light spellcasters, including Effect Veiler and the Iris Sword Soul. Which is really funny, because if I have either of these cards in my- If I'm going to have either of these cards at the end of my hand, I can search the other one during my combo, and there are multiple times I can do this, by the way. And then, <laughs> guarantee myself these two cards. Which is hilarious. I really wish that Iris was not a once per turn, that Iris was like a twice per turn. Like, Iris would be- absolutely insane. Like, Iris is genuinely a really funny card. Um, it's, it's actually crazy how hard Iris goes in specific situations. It's just there's not a deck to play it. Like, like, she's a cool card, but... You know, I just, I, I you, you just, you can't, you can't play her in much. But I mean, this deck is really cool. I'm running, um, running a funny little engine because this is not a TCG list. This is a list for one of my alt formats, um, in which we do shenanigans, um, which is why we're on Needle Fiber for one, because Needle Fiber's at, at, at three in, in, um, the newly renamed Fairy Tale. Home. Which I guess when I'm saying it out loud doesn't really have the same issue it does in text, but that, that's fine. Um, it's, it's just, it's still LM because, uh, in my decks, because I have all of these. And I also am using FT as an abbreviation for a different one that's coming soon that's very, very adjacent to this. Um. Fuck it, we're just gonna talk about Yu-Gi-Oh for an hour and a half, chat. Fuck it, we're just, we're just talking about Yu-Gi-Oh for an hour and a half. I, I'm, I'm gonna... Um... Talking about card games because stuff broke. Vibes and chill and the like, and maybe a salad. Slad. Good type. That's a good type. I'm just gonna leave it as slad. I'm just. We're just gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that. Anyway, yeah. Um, I have no idea how to actually like build this deck is the thing. 
Um, but like theoretically, if if I if I did, you no, know, it it might be good. I don't know. This this deck looks like it has a lot it can do. Um, I actually have a few ideas. So if we come up here, this is all the stuff that I want to build. Um, just ignore the fact that I have like. What is J9? Is this ah Japan 1999? Oh yeah, my Eats by the way. This deck is terrible. It's really, 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 really funny. You're literally also I like how Valhalla by the way um. One of, not exclusively, the only um, continuous spells that is basically... <laughs> Valhalla is a, a class of continuous spell that I call Field Spells at Home. Um, they're basically just continuous spells where the only reason they're not Field Spells is... In older cases, fuck you. In newer cases, balance. But then also a couple of these field spells at home have these searchers. And it's like, I don't even know how to search for these, right? Because like, okay, um, you can, nope, that's this. You can discard this card. Do the graveyard. Add one. Okay. Well, let's let's start with this, right? Uh, we have one for pandemonium, of course. Um, we have we have uh, ones for non-field spells in in these two, which is kind of cool. Um, Dark World got one for gates, which is cool. Harpy has theirs for for theirs. Paula. Um. A card that technically should not function. Uh, and then, of course, one for Sanctuary in the Sky. These two. Theoretically, in some format, are probably played as a 6-0. As a um, and if we just get rid of the two of the graveyard. Add a quote. Uh, one for... Please never get that deck legacy support. Arcana Force got one? Damn. That's relatively new, but that that's kind of cool. Um Any Cyber Dark spell trap. Funny. Ah, uh, Dragon Ravine has one, and I didn't know that. Oh, oh, that's the the, 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 the that that's the link! That's the link! But he's small! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, uh, you know what the link is? It's probably this guy and and, and one of like the, the winged beasts. That's so cool! I didn't know they gave them that. Oh, that's so cool. Um, so this one's interesting. Uh, I also have to do send this card from, from your hand graveyard. Um, this one's interesting because, and this is why I have to do send to graveyard, is because this guy is a retrain of a field spell searcher. But instead of a field spell searcher, he searches any card that mentions Dark Fusion, which there is a field spell. So, um, fun fact. Um, ritual stuff. Uh, let's see. What are what are others? Strongheart has one. I for more. I should know that because expanded and extreme goat. This thing's legal, and I actually really feel like expanded goat stronger would be a thing. Hi, I make a lot of alt formats that are stupid and funny. Um, the moak. Honestly, this should just be a hard once per turn and be able to add itself. Um, white rose cloister. Labyrinth Wall. Send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Race faster, it's pumping hard, and all I want is to be something. Do we not have the that's why I just keep on running? Can't stop what you don't see coming. Discard this card to the grave, really. Discord. Discard this card to the if you don't trust me. I do what I already search. He doesn't come up because it is just me, and nothing is new. No, I'm not lucky. He don't come up. Why am I timing spellcaster? Pick yourself up or you let 
Discard this card to the graveyard. Oh. I know what I've done wrong. To the graveyard. There we go. Jurassic World and Necro Valley. See, see Necro Valley's a big one. Um. Anyway, yeah. Uh. I was also gonna show off. There's there's another one of these from like a recent archetype. Oh God, what am I thinking? What continuous spell am I thinking of? I feel like the only reason I'm thinking of it is because of Fairy Tale, right? Like, I feel like I recently encountered this in Fairy Tale. Um, anyway, so I have a few ideas that I want to do with White Forest. I want to try them with Witchcrafter. Um, Monodium's one that people are are labbing in TCG already, and so it's like, okay, well, if that works out, we could probably adapt that pretty strongly. Uh, Magistus seems like it could be really interesting with this deck. Uh, there's no locks either. Um, and then um, the two big variants, uh, I don't have a list for this, but uh, no. The, the two big variants that I think that I really want to worry about other than Monodium uh, for this format are Tear and Pure. Uh, and Tear is actually... Tear is an interesting interaction. Because... So we don't have the White Forest cards. Um, I was the first one to add them to Dueling Book, but because they were translated by yu gi -Org as White Forest, even though initial translations were White Woods on uh, a few different Discord servers, um, everyone just goes by the org. And, um, okay, so here's the thing. First off, if I just type white, how many things do we get? Oh, I'm on my customer. How many pages do we get just typing white? Because there's no way I can search these. Yeah, we get so much blue eyes. Anime, white knight, but it's a blue eyes. Oh. Okay. White. White in the name, white in the text. Still not enough. Okay. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um... I think White Forest rolls off the tongue better. I like alliteration, but someone else did it. Dude, you can literally see mine right there. Someone else is in the process of doing it. Hold on, hold on. They're not online. They just stopped halfway. Oh no, they didn't. They used the, for some of them, they used the different names. Oh, it's literally just... Theirs doesn't even have the materials on this. That's funny. I almost didn't have the materials on this one. Oh, theirs doesn't have the mats on any of this. Nice. Okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, um, the entire interaction with... I guess I should be filtering my festival. Um... The entire interaction that uh, put Tear into my brain is that you can do some really funny plays with this card in particular, which you probably, it's, it's like, you're, in, in the Tear variant, you're either going to do this or this, I feel like, but I'm probably going to do this because we're talking, we're, we're talking lore format. You don't have a lot in the extra deck, like, we're, we're on, I, I mean, Baguska's not legal. Uh, we're on, I guess, Dweller in the Mirror. Actually, no, you make Dweller against Infernoble, too. Dweller doesn't do... What does Dweller do in the current Fairy Tale meta, actually? Because, like, okay, so... Current Fairy Tale meta is, um... My mouse disappearing. I love Windows. It's a fantastic operating system. Okay. Current Fairy Tale meta is, first off... Uh, about two thirds of, of the archetype pool is is untested. Um, granted, about half of that two thirds is, is shit balls. Um, and I don't even know if there's hybrids that I've missed in in like the list of shit that I need to get through. Um, and I don't know how to build most of this stuff. Um, so you know, there's that. Um, but current meta in no particular order. Um. Infernoble is, uh, is, is a big one. Um, 
And then you also have Tyr. You have Branded. You have Branded Tyr. And then you have Sprite Twin and Sprite Tri Brigade. Uh, and then, rounding out the top tier, seems to be Light Sworn Tyr and Generator. I don't, please don't ask me how. I, I genuinely, I swear to you, it is it is not a good list. That's how gods roll. I, the deck keeps winning. Now, we haven't tested it again against Infernoble. We haven't tested it against um, Sprite Twin, but um, or against Tear Sworn. But Tear Sworn has minimal testing as well. Um, based on what testing we have, Generator only needs one well-placed interaction. And if you're on the right hand traps, which is not difficult to be doing. Um, more difficult with Infernoble, but uh, it runs the fuck through Branded. Um, and if you hit pure tier on a, a like, mid or low roll hand, they don't, you, you, you just need the right hit on the right card. It's insane. It's insane. Um, Generator actually kind of slaps in this format, and I don't know why. They're just able to put shit on board. And the thing is, if Generator gets to Yormagunder, the game is over. Nice mirror, Jade, idiot. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's so weird. I swear to you, the deck is not good. It shouldn't be good. But it's like actually the best deck that isn't branded tier Infernoble Sprite. Which is funny, because Snake Eye Fire King is almost full power in this format. The deck is just terrible. Um, I do need to do more testing with, with assorted Snake Eye variants. Um, but, yeah, Gishki Sprite, um, Chidal Tear, Ash, Snake Eye Metal Foes, Pure, Fire King. Uh, Pure Therian is decent. Um, Pure Therian's main issue is that, um... You're consistently doing enough to bonk out weaker decks, but, like, one to two interruptions, the way Therian does it, isn't the best thing in the world. And the deck, while it's consistent, when Therian breaks, it is... It, I, I realize I'm tapped out of Dueling Book. Um, there goes my connection. But yeah, when, when, when Therian breaks, Therian breaks hard. Like, it's... It's insane. Um, also, Striker is legal in this format. Striker to... So, um, the thing about this format is... Oh, I don't actually have this saved, do I? Um, shit, let me, let me pull this up. Um, so, this format uses a custom ban list in which... Um, So, at the beginning of the format, what we did was we unlimited... What we did was we unlimited everything from all of the initial uh, archetype pool, which has since been expanded to include other other lures, which is why um, Striker is legal. It was not at the beginning. It was, like, only the main ones. And then also Draco and Beezus, because... It would just kind of feel weird to not include them. Dear God, this is a huge image. Fuck. Is this even going to be, like, legible on stream? Probably not, but good enough. Um, so th this is what the ban list looks like currently in the format. But it started with all of the legal archetypes, uh, except for Tyr and Cash having all of their cards at three. Um, Arise Heart stayed banned, and we only put it close to one. And to be fair, I don't think Hikolos being above one does much. I, I feel like it does a little bit, especially especially for the theoretical build of um, White Forest here, um, because they didn't actually get to show in the interaction. But anyway, so yeah, this, this is the current ban list in, in the format. Um, we hate the Dragon Rulers. Um, there's a ton of stuff that's not legal in the format that is not on this ban list because... 
it's implied. Because the whole thing with the format is archetypes and clearly intended archetype adjacent things, such as exchange of the spirit and chaos, um, are, are, are not allowed. Right? None of the cards from any of those archetypes are allowed. Fleur is not allowed. Uh, Boral and Rocket are not allowed, right? So you don't get any... You know, that's, I know I have a, a list called Dragon Link question mark. That's because we have the Gar Dragons and we have Dragoon. We've got to be able to do something with that. But we can't. Tell you what we can't do. We can't make Black Rose. <laughs> Think of Dragons. Yo, Hydrate Gaming. But, um... Yeah, so we, we have some funny stuff legal in this format. Um, but our our pool is extremely limited as far as what we can run uh, in in the extra deck and, and generics. Um, there are there are certain things that are technically archetypes, but that I I do allow in the format. Um, Clear Wing, Crystal Wing, Starving Venom. They they follow TCG ban list. Uh, well, no, they don't. Not anymore, because our ban list is kind of broken away from that. Uh, like, we, we, we have no shifter. We have a bunch of floodgates there. Um, okay. So, here's the funny interaction. Um, on top of the fact, first off, that if, if, if you have a hand in either deck that does not require a normal summon, which, um... Open either of those... Or open this or no, that's it. Okay. If you open any of these three cards, you can just actively play both engines without any problem whatsoever. Like it's actually insane. Um so so the theory here, right, is that we can take this 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 level eight. Oh, and it has this fun little effect that when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can pitch a spell trap from hand or field. That is like the other thing that White Forest has is like, okay, so Snake Eye is level one fire dot deck, but they're also crystal beast mimicking control strategy in theory. Um, I guess that's just what it is, kind of, vaguely. It doesn't really work that way in practice, but that's just because it's control and you give them. Um, but this deck is, uh, it's like, okay, well, what, what if we just pitch all of our spell traps? And so their spell traps are like, okay, um, all three of them, I think. Yeah, all three of them. And then also the new Sinful Spoils card. Um, they recover themselves if, if they're pitched. And then on top of that, you have, um, graveyard effects for all the other Sinful Spoils cards. Uh, not all. Most of them, though. Um, so, there you go. Um, but, so, you take this level 8, hit your spell trap, and then you can special summon a level 7 or lower synchro tuner from your extra deck, graveyard, or banishment. Now, here's the thing. Um... It's not a proper summon, which is a little bit annoying, or at least it doesn't seem to be based on any of the translations I've seen. I've seen three different sources. None of them say that it's treated as a synchro summon. So, unfortunate. But here's something funny you can do, and, th and that also might be a reason to cut one or both of these two down to one copy uh, in a tier list. Desert Locust <laughs> is depending on which turn it comes out on. Either a discard, which can also kick off your tier plays, even if you needed your normal summon for, for one of your two engines. Um, or it's a hand rip to the opponent. And it's a quick synchro. You know, it's a six, which is a little bit awkward, but what you have to consider there is what levels tier limit lets you go into. Depending on your board state, tier could let you go into an 8, a 9, a 10, or an 11. <laughs> it's, 
if somehow you have level modulation on your board, there's also a world where you go into a 12. I, I don't know if there's actually a summonable level 12 synchro in this format. Um, uh, no, 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 no. Archetypes. Oh, um, this, but you need a level 4 tuner, so not here. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. No. They're literally all part of decks, so it's not even like, it's not even like the materials. The only one you can get into is a material problem. That's insane. We have 19 illegal ones and then one that you can't summon because you need a level 4 tuner. Having said that, There are level 4 synchro tuners. I hit tab. Fuck you, keyboard. I'm going to eat you. There are level 4 tuners we can run. Uh, can't run this. Can run this. Can run this. Can run this. So. Um. Add one level 8 or lower monster with 600 defense. None of these guys would happen to have that that stat line, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Crazy. Um, you know, I was gonna do that, but I realized I can literally just do this. Um, I don't think any of these guys have 600 defense either, right? Correct. These two are zero zero. No, no fun to be had. Um, I do wonder if there's anything funny we could do with, like, a Cupid-themed deck, because, like, these guys have synergy, but, I mean, they're just generic, so we, we have them. Like, it's, I, I, I treat them like the dragon rulers. And, and the fairy tales are also legal, because, um, they have, like, basically, I, they don't have anti-synergy. But this is the only thing remotely implying you'd want to play more than one of them in the same deck. You have Luna Kaiju control, uh, and, then, and then you have Snow, which is just a good card. And then the rest of them are bad. You can make your opponent gain 500 life points, then they scry three, but give you one of the cards and shuffle. <laughs> I've never seen this. What is this card? Chat, what is this card? Oh my goodness. I've just found a funny card on stream live. You know what I wonder? Chat, could I... <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Okay, I've just had the worst idea of all time. Sinful Dragon. We we play a, a, a Dragon Ruler package with some dragons thrown in there. Probably a couple of, you know, just decent dragons, right? Some, some generics, some level one tuners if we can. Um, Flambell is, is, that's a lore archetype. That's, that deck's legal. Uh, so we can run Flambell Guard for our dragon rulers. But we also use the Sinful Spoil package. They're level sevens, right? So, seven stars targets, we, we can, we can pitch ship. They can set up our graveyard so that we don't have to banish from hand nearly as often. <laughs> and, as you saw on the ban list, I moved all the rulers to three, because they're not going to fucking do anything. Unless they do. This sounds funny. This sounds hilarious. But yeah, fucking, um, I'm sure this list is not good. 
I kind of just wanted to play the simple package. I'm sure there's better things I could be doing. I know there's a world where we take, um... I know there's a world where we where we where we are on a random package. White Forest can make Lulu while Lilith, provided we can get a quick synchro that doesn't need to use itself as material or a non-tuner. Which Locusts probably uses itself as material, right? Yes. I think Formula does as well, but Formula is not legal because it's a synchro. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Also, um, Hyper Psychic Riser. Not a card we should be on, but uh, honestly, I couldn't think of anything, and this card's just funny to have, and I, I like the artwork. There. Look at him go. He doing. That is some real he doing energy. But yeah. Uh, I need to figure out how to build the dual link special, and then also I want to jam them in with White Forest. It's, it's the same position I'm in with Magistus. I would like to run them together. Um. I don't know how to build or pilot the gem FTK list, but I can tell you right now. Um, beat down gem knight, don't do shit. I, I think I literally just opened Master Duel, copied my list, and I was just like, nah. Also, my hand trap lineup needs to be redone because this is this list. See, you can tell if I've updated a list for this format or not. Um, post. Uh, legalizing um, what what I refer to as Wave 3. Even though I think I have it as Wave 2. Because, because... I don't know why I called it that, honestly. I just, I did. I guess it's Wave 3, but Wave 2 is in with Wave 1. Anyway, basically Wave 3 of allowing more shit into the format. Um, there are criteria that things are allowed in based on. There are just, there are things that technically did it, and I'm like, eh, fuck, we'll just expand the format. Infernoble changed everything, because before Infernoble, all of the top decks were, um... Well, I was gonna say Chaos decks, but no, all of them were Dark decks. Um... The least Dark-heavy top deck before Infernoble was added to the format was Sprite Tri-Brigade, in which you could still hit a few of the sprites, and you could still handicap their plays. Not majorly. They can still grab their negates. Still going to sprint an elf. Rezzing gigantic won't matter. But you could slow them down a little bit. Um, and so we were just on Bistials and Crow, right? Um, now we're not doing that because now you have to play around Infernoble. Crow's gonna help with that. Steals or not. So, um, also one thing that I was teching in, and I, I'm surprised I didn't tech it in this, um, is I, I had a funny little package of, of two Xyz monsters that I was running. I'm just gonna save this, uh, cause it's funny. I was just running these two in every deck that had the free extra deck space. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, because it's funny. And I'm just like, okay, if I need extra deck filler and I have, and I have at least seven Bistials, which this deck literally barely clears. Um, then I'm just like, yeah, if, if we have, if we have one space, we'll do Ptolemy because it's actually a decent going second score or crackback option. Um, not that good, but I mean, it's a bounce. And to be fair, I mean, targeting protection is, is a thing, but it, it's not rampant so far in the format. So I mean, uh, and then Sumo Dice Games is just, the, it, this is literally extra deck filler if we can make it. Do you hear? We really can make, oh, that's not the right one. We really can make it because this guy's also a six. So like we could. Brilliant Fusion plus, Brilliant Fusion plus any bestial equals Sumo Dice Games. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a fun fact for you, chat. Wait, does Brilliant Fusion have to be 5 or lower? No, that's instant. Hero 5. 
Um, it's like theoretically I could also be on a rank five in this deck, but like when are we overlaying Seraphonite and Lapis Lazuli? Okay, but what rank fives would I be on if I wanted to do that? What rank fives would I be on in normal format if I wanted to do that? To be fair, I I would probably be on. Is this a gem or a gem knight? This is a gem knight. Okay, good. Yeah, so brilliant fusion plus so yeah, brilliant fusion plus a bestial. We just we just dump brilliant rose and and garnet. It. We make a ruby, we fire a pistol. <laughs> it's just fucking makes you want ice skins. That's the stupidest line. That's the stupidest line. That's the stupidest line. I have to inform the MBT Discord about this delivery. It's the worst combo. Um, now we can almost make Nova. We have no robots. Uh, it's also a Cyber Dragon, so it's not legal in this format. Um, Ad 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 Adrius. They are they are both Earths. Artifacts. Uh. Spellcasters. We can make this. <laughs> Outwinged beasts. That's an Infinitrack. That's an Insector, and needs insects. Uh, these are all numbers. Those are an archetype. We can't run those. Those are raid raptors. Stat is just banned in general, but also. Kind of an archetype. These guys are like nightmares, where they were clearly intended to be played together. And, like nightmares, have a couple of main decks. They have one. Nightmares have, I think, three. But that's... Nightmares technically have... I think three main deck monsters and two or three spells. And a couple of traps that aren't uh, by name. Nightmare support? Wow, we don't have any good fucking rank fives in this format. Oh my god. Dude, every good rank five is archetypal except for I mean, the best. Why is the best? Like, because I don't know what to round out this extra deck with, right? So I throw in Tira. This deck's bad and I need to rework the hand trap suite. Uh, maybe I don't rework the hand trap suite. Maybe we just kind of pray. I could cut two of them and then all three crow and then we just run Baylor and Amber. That's too hard. Yeah, that puts us to 41, but honestly, that's probably okay. I mean, the only thing is, right, um... That is that is five dead cards going second against Infernoble, which is not good. Infernoble is like almost definitely getting hit. The deck is actually unbeatable going first if you if you can't stop it. Now that's a big if. There are a few stopping points. But Infernoble needs more testing, but it's probably going to get some bombs. I just don't know what they're gonna be yet. Um I do know that I'm going to be right back. Shooter's gonna shoot it, I'm gonna shoot it till the end. So I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the start, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do.
Something's wrong, I feel it circling like vultures around my brain. Couldn't see the danger in your eyes. Draw me in, got me spinning now like water to a drain. You were perfect till I realized you hadn't shown your face. But you sing a pretty song, but you drag my That's a nice argument, sir. Unfortunately for you, it is invalid on the grounds that you are not an elephant, but a cactus. Yeah, so, you know, Twitch doesn't get to hear my glorious ramblings. Uh, anyway. So, um, Twitch, Twitch, <laughs> that's probably gonna be helpful. But anyway, yeah, um... I mean, th this deck looks- this deck looks like it has a lot of potential more so in proper ACG than in Fairy Tale. But I think that in Fairy Tale, this deck is going to have legs to stand on. Like, I really do. can we do with this deck? So yeah, um, the big thing is, they don't lock you in anything, like I said. They work off of light spellcasters, though, so it's, you kind of have to be able to bounce off of that, which is where I think it gets interesting being able to do stuff with, uh, either multi-attribute spellcaster decks or multi-type type decks, um, and I'm not sure, I don't think Monodium has spellcasters, does it? No. No, it does not. So this is literally just these two things work vaguely together and not really direct synergy. Um, Magistus only has one light. Well, okay, Magistus has three light. Magistus only has one light. But that's still like... Cause then like, cause you can. Do you remember when we met? You were looking down in your head. We picked you up to dust huh. you off. Like there are things we can do with that. Oh hello CD, welcome on in the chat. We're talking about card games cause nothing worked. That's not true. Battlefield worked. And then my bullets didn't. So I was like, nah, we're done. And then Planet Side did more. So, um, I'm just talking about cards for the next hour or so. I might get on Master Duel at some point. But yeah, so, um, I also think that there's like a world where we do some weird shit with, um, with Sideframe. As just not, not even that there's a synergy there, but just that like, there's no lock. We can, if we get four bodies on board or, or five, uh, then we can, we can do this neat little thing where we, we do white forest stuff. Um, and then we make Lambda and whatever Cyframe is in our hand, probably only going to be one, maybe two of them. It's not going to be a good way to play white forest. 
I think that in this format, it might be the best way to play Cyframe. But I don't know for sure. But just like in theory, this deck seems strong enough without being xenophobic at all. The issue is condensing the dice. I guess we're dropping the hand traps for one thing. I'm definitely probably... Probably. Um, definitely some of the sinful package. Probably a lot of it. We might still run Dia uh, and Seeker. And of course, we're still going to run the new one. That's the new one. With the new stuff. But like... Theoretically, to drop that, drop those, and then we run you, you, one of you, two of you. Uh, probably actually want to be on three drive. And then we want to be on three of the field. And the terraform. Uh, and then is there anything we can realistically drop here? Um, uh, oh, right, Iris doesn't do anything. Um, and then we figure out the... I didn't mean to save that. Oh, fuck me, I'm an idiot. That's okay, I know what I dropped. Um... Nope, forest. Shit, I didn't mean to save that. Fuck. Uh, oh well. Can we change up our numbers a little bit here. For one... Actually, no, we can stay on. No, we can't. We don't have enough spells for that anymore. Um... We run Zeta, we run two Lambda just in case. Uh, IP and SP are probably worth running. Um, I think Coral and Brio aren't doing enough for me here. Uh, let me go back to this list so I can fix it. We do not want to be playing this deck with fucking Cyframe. Well, we, we want to be playing this deck with Cyframe. We don't want to be playing Cyframe with this deck. Uh, one. Uh, go. Uh. And. Pro. We. But yeah, the, uh, the new cards are pretty cool. Um, Iris is a very specific interaction. It's just also a very funny one. I'm on, uh, I'm on Iris in Sword Soul in this format, actually. Um, we are on a singular copy of Iris, because we... Never want to draw it. This is also the deck I think with the highest concentration of hand traps that I'm on. Um, on top of the fact that we are on just just a bunch, just a bunch of please don't touch me cards. This deck is just kind of praying that you open the ability to play Sword Soul because you don't get Ten Yi in this format. So, I am going to, um, I am now in a different Discord. I am now in the alt format Discord. I should probably make a private It's fine. Um. Here's my sprite from this, this format. Missing a few things because 
I've never been a fan of Prosperity in the twin variant of this deck because you are stupidly consistent. Uh, and um, absolutely do not need it. Uh, but also because in the twin variant, your extra deck is actually really packed. Uh, fun fact, by the way. Um, plays one card because you don't want to draw it. Draws it anyway in every hand. It's not bad if you draw Iris, is the thing, though. Because all of, all of the Sword Souls... Um, all of the Sword Souls interact with Sword Soul or Worm. Which means that in the absolute worst case, Sword Souls, your pitch for, for Long Yuan or your reveal for uh, Moe. Oh, yeah? I actually don't know. I don't know. I know that if it were... I, I think it's Moye because... I know that's what it would be in Japanese. <laughs> But, uh... Yeah, fucking... I Iris is, like, not the worst thing you could be on in, in Sword Soul in this format. Uh, it's So, th the other thing with Iris, too, is that it specifically pairs well with Chisha. Because if you are in a position where you have Iris in hand and can activate it, you are also probably in a position where you have Chisha on board. Or you've opened Valor Iris going second, which is also good if it happens, but it won't. But like, theoretically, I've actually had it happen a few times. Oh. Sorry, biting pizza. Um. Anyway. So, if I have any sprite players in chat, you might be wondering, why the fuck aren't you on Sprint? Sprint is an insane card, right? First off, we have Elf. Secondly, though, this format has no good Sprint targets. Which, like, it sounded so insane. I literally spent over an hour trying to find good Sprint targets. I read almost every level 2 main deck monster in the game. I've forgotten most of them, but I read them. <laughs> I literally, I literally did this. I literally did this and I just read through most of them. Even ones that I couldn't run, because I was just like, what stupid shit can we get up to? There are no good fucking cards. Angler. But... Nimble is an archetype. We can't run that. Nimble is Nimble is an archetype. It's a deck. We, we can't run that. Uh, Dump Ronin, right? Oh. Dump Ronin, maybe, right? Do do frog stuff, but no. Frogs are frogs are an archetype. This is frog support. It's also Death Frog. What the fuck? Why? Uh, I didn't know that actually. You dump frog the jam. I am on a couple of funny cards in my pure list. So first off, in pure, we're on we're on block row. Funny little tech, completely non-archetypal. Um, and honestly, one of the best three ofs you can run in pure in this format, just because it's just... Are you playing Sprite? Free some. Easy. Um, EMP is really cool. Because as soon as you've got a link on board, or if you've gone second, your opponent has a link on board, Boom. And um, this is crazy because if you end on IP and then use IP, Meow Mind bounces something. Like this card's actually kind of crazy, right? I'll still not on prosperity in this because I've never been a fan of it, right? Like I said, but. Theoretically, I probably should be, uh, and not be a burst. I also don't have side decks in a lot of this, because honestly, it, there's so little testing to this format. It just hasn't shaped up yet. But we are on Silver Vine Senri. 
which is, I shit you not, competing with Meow Mine for being the best dump off of Sprint. And I'm still not on Sprint, because neither of them are gonna... Don't do anything. But... It does build out your board in situations where it might be the only thing doing. So it's it's not the worst one of um, some lines you you pull it off of Gigantic, and if not, you just don't want to see it. You can also normal it though, and start playing Sprite that way. Mm. I, I I hear vehicles in the background. Uh, now I can. Also, Sprite Gishki is like a really cool, really, like, it's like the, uh, Frog is gutted, uh, here is on the Nimble package, uh, you can do some decent things with it, uh, definitely worse than Twin, probably worse than Multi, probably better than Waller, this is like the Roughly fourth or fifth best. No, you also have or higher runic. Like the sixth or seventh ish, give or take, best sprite fairy. <laughs> it's better than Ojama sprite. Yeah, Ojama's a level two deck. There's a sprite variant for it. The thing is, okay. The thing is. If the deck revolves around level 2s, even if the game plan has nothing to do with them being level 2, there's a sprite variant. I've seen Paleo Sprite. It's bad. There are so many archetypes that I... Um, it's not because you're just playing... You're, you're playing Sprite with a bunch of bricks that are theoretically good if your opponent doesn't blow them all the fuck up. I... I like, okay... In a slower format, where Sprite also exists in the same universe as... Like, okay, if there is a format where Paleo has enough good cards, where Sprite is also legal, be that an official or an alt format or dual links or whatever, maybe. <laughs> maybe. The only two legal archetypes are fucking... Paleo, fuck you. I, no, I, I thought about doing that. No, I thought about doing an alt format, though. It was literally just Sprite, Tier Limit, and all of the archetypes that were run alongside them. Even the most fringe bullshit. So, like, cash would be legal because... because Tier, tier adds, tier adds branded. Tier adds danger. Tier adds Predaplant because they run Starving Venom, so, you know. Um, tier adds Exchange, which, oh boy. Um, tier adds Danger, Tier adds Shadal, Tier adds Light Sworn. Um, like I said, Tier adds Cash because of uh, Tier Cash. Sprite, though, is adding Frog, Nimble, Tri Brigade. Crawler, Ojama, Fur Hire. <laughs> it is insane how many how many fucking sprite variants there are. Um, there is a terrible paleo, uh, Gishki. Um, you wanna know what sprite adds that's really, really funny though? There is a terrible build that a handful of sprite players, and I, I've been part of the process of messing around with this deck, uh, have been have been poking at since very early into the deck's existence. Egyptian God Sprite. Now, now, you want to know how? By never activating Starter or Gigantic. That's how. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, start, all you need is a way to board three monsters without normaling and get to a God card. Turn one. And then you have... A towers. It's terrible. 
It does nothing. You are ending on Obelisk the Tormentor and praying they don't have non-targeting removal. Or access code talker. Which is also non-targeting removal anyway. So, but like, theoretically... Just, you know, a number like that. A rival Cypress beats over Obelisk on most, on most boards, right? Like, you just, you just need them to not be able to get through your Obelisk. It's terrible, it's hilarious. The fun thing about, the fun thing about God Sprite is your backup plan is to just play Sprite. <laughs> um, I, the, the, well, well, no, and the thing is, the best way to play God Sprite is to run Frog and Nimble packages because those packages board more monsters without normal summoning. <laughs> so you are just playing a bad Sprite deck with the goal of summoning obelisk. It's like, you, you know how occasionally, one in a million, you'll see a Crystal Beast player on fucking Hammond, Lord of Striking Thunder? Yeah, it's like that. This obelisk is the sprite equivalent of that. Like, yeah, we board a bunch of shit without normally. I am the meme lord that runs obelisk. Yeah. Well, like, theoretically. Z for, um, no, no, no. It was, um. It was for Zubaba General that some people were running Gate Guardian because it is the largest equipable monster by Zubaba General. Is because yeah, because because that makes Zubaba General a um oh god, Gate Guardian's like 3750 or some shit. Why do I remember that? <laughs> um, it's really not, not it's 3750 stat line. <laughs> Fucking so that gives you um. 1725 with that. Zubaba General out here being a. Oh god. Wait. That's funny. That's really funny, actually. Yeah, it's it's actually. Zubaba General is 25 bigger than Gate Guardian. It is it is 3775 if I've done my math correctly. It is 25 attack points bigger than Gate Guardian if Gate Guardian is equipped to it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um so, Castle of Dark Illusion has, I think it's 1930 defense. Yes! And 920 attack. Why did I remember that? I don't know. There's another card like... There's one more. I want to say there's one more, but I don't remember what it is. Of its really fucky stats. Yes, I know. I've always loved this card just because of that. Um... It also has a really cool effect. It's bad, but it's really, really cool. Like, I feel like I feel like in enough of a limited low power format, Castle of the Dark Illusions could actually be like a huge threat. Should I just try to like cherry pick cards into a format just to make Castle of the Dark Illusions as strong as possible? Oh my god. Wait, does Dark Illusions linger? Wait, if Dark Illusions lingers, you could... Oh, no. Oh, no, it doesn't linger. No, I just read the last sentence. It lasts as long as it's face up. No, you can't just loop one copy. You can only get a thousand per copy and it goes if, if it flips or dies. Oh, man. No. It's also a theme type that supports zombies. So, um... Ooh. To be fair, for the time, this card probably would have been insane if it flipped up and became a 2130. Because this card is this card is well beyond goat legal. Okay, or dueling book is just very broken because it's saying that it's literally always been legal, and I don't think that's true. This card was not, in fact, in the first set.
Okay, we have it in at least OCG uh, as like proper, having a proper release date. Now I need to look this up. Give me a second. Um, it was very early, but I don't, I, that, yeah, but that ban list is, should be, um, that ban list should be Yugi Kaiba format. This card wasn't an LB because the only flip monsters were, yeah, it's Metal Raiders. Um, fucking. Oh, the wiki doesn't tell me what number set this is. Fuck you. Really? Will the other wiki have that information? Will the other... The other wiki fucking come up in search results. Um, let's see here. It is also not in this wiki. Oh boy. God damn it. I think I think it's I think it's the second or third set, but I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, if I just scroll down to previous, the previous set is lob. So yeah, okay. It is the second set. I was just trying to remember if it was the second or third. Yeah, cause well, cause that had um, cause that had that had man eater bug. Uh, that had um. Hold on, um, cause it was it was four flip monsters, uh, armed ninja and then crimson ninja, which are the same thing for spells and traps. Um. New. New. Oh, Hane Hane was the other one. Hane Hane was the fourth one. It was it was Meb, Hane Hane, Crimson, uh, Armed, and then that was it. That was literally every effect monster in LOB. Let me, let me go to our... Um, what fuck was I on? Yeah, because I'm literally on two Meb, one Hane Hane in our, in our, in our LOB episode. Then again, you were on fucking Gaia the Sky Champion. <laughs> so... No, that was. I am sad you didn't get to bring that out. Like that's crazy. Uh, I realized the other day. I realized the other chat. By the way, and I, I'm I'm not telling Oak about this. Uh, I realized the other day um, because Oak and I, I, I guess kind of spoilers, but in our, in our prog series we have a crafting system. Um, it's fairly limited. Um, you can only craft three commons, two rares, one of anything above. You can only craft once per episode, of course, and then you can only craft cards from the current or previous set. Um, having said that, the two episodes uh, of and th the episode of and the episode following the release of these cards are going to be absolutely insane for our prog because of the crafting system. Because um, whatever we don't pull of these, we just craft, and if we have the spare time to work with... Or sorry, not the spare time, but the 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 like the the spare resources and space to work with. Check in here, VC. Oh my God, thank you. Um, that's okay. He hasn't he hasn't said anything entertaining. Um. Okay, there we go. It's fine. I spared you guys from the car audio when you first joined. <laughs> but yeah. Um. We can also just craft this thing, which is which is a super, but you also only need one of it, and if we oh my god, and if we pull one, that'd be insane. Um also in like in the in the in the sets In the sets leading up to it, we also have this to craft. Um There's also this guy that exists. I I believe he's legal in that format. Yeah, he is. <laughs> this card is this card is really really funny because it it's uh that's 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 funny. Um, I have I have plans. I have I have plans. Um, I would really like to play 
I kind of spoils the surprise, but uh, I want to assemble a hero deck at some point before we exit GX era. Which realistically means that I want to assemble a hero deck before we get to the last three sets of GX era. Because playing hero in the last three GX sets either means that I am trolling the shit out of myself or that I've pulled horrendously in those sets. At which point I'll have re-rolled. <laughs> Yeah, because those sets give us Glad Beast, the beginning of Light Sworn, uh, the pieces to make Dad work. That would be really interesting. I think they're rarity. Well, full power Light Sworn doesn't come till early 5Ds, but yep. I am really excited for how we're handling the. I'm sad there's not more of them because of how we're doing this. I am excited for how we're handling the draft sets in our frog. Um, I think it's just the battle packs, but they're... I, I think they're only in Zexal and, and Pandera. I think that's where all four of them are. Um, but what we're doing for the draft sets in our frog is we're opening them like normal, but there's a twist. We are only allowed to use our pulls from that episode in that episode. And then, on top of that, the winner gets to open, I don't remember what it was, I think it's one pack, it might be three of any set previous so far that they want. So you get a shot at anything you want if you win the battle packet. I think that's just a really cool idea that I had. Also, our, pro our prog is interesting because we're using structures and starters. We're, we, we have pre-cons in our prog. It's, it's literally every product we can feasibly throw in. We both have Pot of Greed, we both have Graceful, we both have one Scapegoat, we both have so many things. Um, wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Pot of Greed because Pot of Greed is in Yugi Kaiba starters. So we both had a playset right as it went to one. You might have only had two when it went to one. I don't know if you pulled one in LOB. I know I did. I pulled exactly one because I was on exactly one. There's a few things I didn't get until reprint sets. Um. Oh, chat still can't hear fucking... Okay, OBS is just like freaking out now. Hold on, we're trying. No, it's an OBS issue. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hear you. It is refusing to, like, even Discord is not an option. My Discord window is not an option. There we go. Okay, now chat oh. should be able to hear Oak. Finally. Fine, I've been bouncing off of what you've said well enough that I should. Um. But fucking... Yeah, um... Early prog is kind of a slog. I, I think that once we get into G... First off, I think a lot of GX era is going to be both of us screwing around a little bit more than we have been. Um... Yeah. I, I think that there's just so much new fun stuff to try. Well, yeah, and it's also just that, like, late DM era is one of those formats where we're kind of just tunneling in on, like, it's, it's, it's a really competitive format in theory, and we're kind of both just trying to, in the more competitive constructed formats, try and make more competitive progress. Yeah. You know, it's why, it's just what can I do with Chaos, every, what can you do episode. to counter Chaos? It's basically been the last yeah. few episodes, right? Yeah, it's basically the same thing, just what can we do to counter? Yeah, it's, it's what can I do to play the best deck, and if not, what can I do to beat the best deck? Um... 
I, like, I, there are a few formats I think it's going to happen. It's going to happen late GX and early 5Ds, I think. But I think most of GX era is going to be us kind of moving around, playing with all the fun new stuff that's going to come out. Um, there's a ton of cool stuff that comes out in GX that's just terrible that I totally see both of us playing. Um, and, and then, I'm like, right now, I'm, I'm going to try to play a full-on Ogama deck. 5Ds... At some point. 5Ds may or may not end up being a sweat fest. There's just so much to do that is also really good in 5Ds while also being really fun. Because the thing is, you 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 come out of Glad Beast format, and you immediately get Teledad if you have the pieces. Uh, we can craft, so there's no shot either of us doesn't have at least one dad. Um, you also have Light Sworn. I will Light Sworn. Be right back. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna keep going for chat. Um. You have yeah. Bite Sworn uh, in early 5Ds, right? You come out of Teledad, and I believe you just get injected straight to Edison. All of the things that entails. Immediate, immediately following that, we have the ability to play Six Samurai. <laughs> like, it's, it's actually kind of insane uh, how, how rapid 5Ds era is. Um, like, it's, it's, it's literally... Just, just boom after boom after boom after boom after boom after boom. Um. Oh right, Frog FTK is also, I think, I think between Edison and I. I think, I think it's, I think it's somewhere. I'm not sure. It might be. It's before or after Lightsworn. I'm not sure, but I know that Lightsworn's before Edison because Lightsworn's hit in Edison. Um. And then yeah, fucking. We have Edison Plus for a little while, but it's still just going to be us jamming Edison shit, probably. And then we have Six Sam. And then we're into Xyz format, which is also, by the way, starting with shit like um, Dino Rabbit if we pull the pieces, and I think they're all low rarity, wind up in Insector if we pull the pieces, um, and then immediately into that one. I think that GX is probably going to be the most casual period in this frog. Like, realistically. Because DM, there's not enough fun shit to be doing. And now by the by the time there is, we're in GOAT. Um, and yeah. 5Ds and Zex will have a ton of fun shit that's also, like, insane. Um, like, Blackwing's gonna be playable, too. And we have crafting, so... So we're not guaranteed to have everything, but we're probably having... Let me tell you, if I don't get a playable Blackwing Core, we are re-rolling that shit. Arc 5 is going to be a more casual period. Um, but there's also a lot of really good, really fun decks. No, I think I think that pretty much everything from Reigns forward, though, is probably going to also go back to being fairly casual, just because, like... What actual hard meta decks from Link Era Beyond are playable? <laughs> in Prague within reason, even with the crafting system. You're not playing Goki. I hate that I always go to the Paxim page, and then it always goes to fucking, um... And then it always goes to fucking, um the cube page if I don't, like, tell it to go to the pack sim. It's really fucking annoying. Um... Now, it is... Okay, Code of the Duelist is an important one for certain strategies that we might want to be on. Oh, yeah, okay. So the, the first few Vrain's Era sets are potentially insane because... 
that's where we get access to Goki, Altergeist, Trickstar. Um, importantly, the, uh, the, the, the fifth one, though. Is, uh, is actually where we get access to the night, which is insane. Um, a lot of six sands in this one. Oh, wow. This is just a little side set. Oh my god. Oh, that's actually a massive side set. God, magic muskets are, like, probably playable by that point as well. Mech Knights and Extreme Force as well. Oh, that'll be so fun if we can get it. Here, but, yeah. but yeah, the the, the first uh, the first five uh, Brain Zera sets are going to determine how fun the rest of Brain Zera is going to be. If we get unlucky, it's going to be fun, or if it if we're lucky, it's if... going to be fun. Um, so, I don't know how much you know about 2018 Yu-Gi-Oh! Not a lot, other than, uh, the, 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 the PlayStation game. Um, uh, okay. So, 2018 Yu-Gi-Oh! has this fun little problem in which I have a, this is not, this is, this is like two hits deep, Goki. Um... I'm just pulling this up for chat's reference. Um, yeah, this, this is literally... This is... Okay. Um, this is... Post Gumblar one hit deep go. My bad. But this is not the list I wanted it to be. Someone sent me a list from, from the format too late. Um, and I just need to get this. Um, so, for both you and chat, for anyone that doesn't know, 2018 Yu-Gi-Oh! In its entirety, the whole ass year revolved around Firewall Drive. Yeah, yeah, I know about Firewall Dragon. Now, for yeah. the back end of the okay. year, it was FTK. Please ban Cannon Soldier. Please come on, just ban Cannon Soldier. Two thirds of the game is not oh, allowed yeah, to have this right. card. Take it that's away right, from the last battle. Oh god, that's right. Um, that's not my concern. The dangers are too high rarity. There's no world we get a we get a danger, and that does not work off of just the Dark Worlds. You you need that. If you get enough dangers to play to play the FTK, I just that's insane. Even with crafting, that's they're all fucking secrets, I think. Um, but uh, the longest standing deck to abuse the hell out of Firewall Dragon has gone by a few names and a few iterations. Um, Goki Link, Warrior Link, Goki Nightmare, Warrior Nightmare. Um. It revolves centrally around the Goki cards being able to recur themselves way more than they probably should be able to. Let's let's be fair here. And um, so you have just I mean, enough yeah. different names to keep going. Um, and they're generic uh, in that you they don't lock you into anything. So, you know that that's pretty funny. Um, and, 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 this is fun because uh, then when you're done playing with your when when you're done playing with your guys, you just add rematch instead of another Goki. And then yeah. what you do with that is you summon two more back. You also have this fun thing you do, where uh, any nightmare gets you into Mermaid, which grabs Ibli, which then links you into whatever link two you want, um, and then dumps Ibli on your opponent's field. On top of this, Fireball Dragon. <laughs> Oh, this card, this card has been nerfed into the ground. Um, and, yeah, they, and, they, they eroded it. Uh, yeah. I think. They eroded it basically to work how it should have been written from the start, because genuinely, I think someone forbore. Um, yeah. even if you weren't ending on Gumblar, by the way, this deck still ended on an extra link under Master Rule 4, which meant your opponent couldn't touch their extra deck. Your opponent would start their turn with Nightmare Corruptor Ibli on board with nowhere to summon a Link monster to get rid of it, so they can't special summon. And on top of that, you have an Omni Negate. Oh, and 
Also, by the way, <laughs> all of your nightmares add protection. Uh, this is also not on Goblin. That must have been hitting the... This list is I just actively... This list is just actively not on Nightmare Goblin. By choice. I'm gonna save this as sorted. Why is the... Huh? 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 Why are we not on Goblin? Goblin these nuts? That's what this person said, apparently. I, I we, why are we not on Nightmare Goblin? This card is insane. It makes your entire board untargetable and gives you an extra normal summon. This card was the first one banned. Uh, not in general, but it was the, literally... We, we, this is missing a few things that it should have. But we look at this list. Goblin is the only thing. Not the only card to get hit out of this list. Hornet Drones was not exclusively because of this deck, and neither was called by. Um, Goblin is the only thing that this deck, single-handedly, I believe, got hit immediately, and it was the first thing we got. This is insane. And, and this list isn't on fucking Goblin. Um... And, yeah, this shit lasted forever. Firewall finally got fucking banned, but Gumblar was still legal for some reason. I think what's really funny, though, is that, um... The second or third best version of Nightmare Trigate Firewall Extra Link Gumblar Shenanigans was World Fucking Chat. The entire time that Firewall and... The entire time that the Nightmares, Firewall, and Gumbar were legal together, World Chalice was technically a viable deck. It was just worse than the Goki version. Yeah, I could just keep summoning them to the links. Yeah. Like, they accomplished the exact same thing in the context of a Link Spam deck, which is why they both worked. It's just that World Chalice was slightly less good at it and slightly less consistent and not as type compatible with random shit. It was harder yeah. to run Chalice with Armageddon Knight and Malicious and... But, like, theoretically, Chalice was one of the best decks you could be playing. That was also when Striker was actually good. It was Stri Striker and Altergeist would just fucking delete this deck going... If, 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 if they went first... They would just delete this fucking deck. Because they just set up enough... They, they just set up just enough interruption that it's just like, Hi! No. Stop that. Importantly, those X could also be on Called by the Grave, which is a quick play spell. Uh, meaning that they can just set it. <laughs> Upstart wasn't one. When did Upstart Perma go to one? Well, I guess not Perma, because it's back now. 16, okay. Only stayed there for eight years! <laughs> Crazy. Fucking engage ban. It's Infusion took until 2020 to get limited. Wow. There are so many cards that I swear I remember being limited, and, uh, and then it's just like, no, I guess they just weren't when I played. But... Also, when I was active in this period, I played a lot of OCGs, so that might be what I'm thinking of. I don't feel like scrolling down far enough to check. Also, summon sort of over. Um, you wanna know what's crazier about the extra link, by the way? You know what was legal in the OCG for like three fucking years? Is uh needle fiber. Is what? Needle fiber. It was it was legal for that long? This card didn't get banned in OCG for... I thought I heard something. Um, yeah, so th 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 this card came out in in summer, fall of, of, of 17 in OCG. We didn't get it ported until 2020. And um, it didn't get banned until t until mid-2022 in OCG. 
This card was legal for five years. Almost to the letter, actually. It's I'm here to DCG. I know. So well, okay, okay. So the reason this thing was legal for the first three years of its life is because Master Rule 4 fucking sucks. Um, Needle Fiber, Electromite, Verte Anaconda, Cross Sheep, and Akahashima? Ahashima. I added a card for no reason. Um, there's no ritual one of these, by the way. The closest you're getting is Cross Sheep. Fuck you. Um, those cards exist as a specific subset of cards, all of which other than Cross Sheep were in Link Frames packs, which is why their imports were so fucking cute. Um, also, I hate that the Bujin one has the wrong arrows. Um, but these cards all exist because Master Rule 4 is terrible. That is the sole reason these cards were printed. Because the entire purpose of those cards was take and I get that Ritual didn't get one because technically it didn't need one, but it also should have gotten one because Ritual was Ritual requires a lot to be good. Giving them a link to as broken as Needle Fiber and, and Electromite is... Okay, Electromite. Um, not by today's standards, anyway. Giving them a Needle Fiber, a Verte Anaconda, would not have hurt. Especially if it was the quality of the fucking legit one that Xyz got. These cards exist solely to facilitate their summon mechanic, and then cross sheep to work vaguely well with all. Except it's only good with ritual infusion because its synchronic seize effects are just attack. Um, but the reason that the first three had to be so good, and then them being good caused Ahashima to suck balls. Um, the reason the first three had to be so good is because. They were there to make an entire summoning mechanic. <laughs> Wait. What? Why is the XCs want a Bujin? This should be a Zodiac. It's even a Beast War. So this is a lore thing that's fun. So, Draco Slayer, true Draco lore. Archetypes in it yeah. are Draco Slayer, Amorphage, Ignite, uh, Magispector, and Dino Mist are from the first part of it. The second part of the lore has true Draco, true King, Metal Foes, Crystron, and Zudia. Metal okay. Foes got the generic... Okay. First off, Draco Slayer should have gotten the generic Pend card. Metal Foes should have gotten the fusion instead of Predaplant. Crystron, if we're giving Draco lore this shit. Like, what? Why, why are two of them Draco lore cards and not the other two? And why doesn't Amorphage get the ritual? No one got the ritual, to be fair. It could still be, but if it is a Morphage, I'm even more angry. And then, and then, what bothers me the most about this being a Bujin instead of a Zodiac is that it's the right type. Mm -hmm. I hate everything. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's a Beast Warrior. Because Bujin is, Bujin is a Tri-Beast archetype. Like, uh, like Tri-Brigade. Tri-Brigade, Tri-Beast. Because yeah. Tri-Beast, I think, has been a term for years. But it's Beast Warrior leaning um, Tri Beast. Um, Bujin is is weird in that it's your Beast Warriors are like the guys that do things, and then your Beasts and Wing Beasts do stuff for your guys. Is I think how this archetype is designed. I I I think, which is also I guess why the Beasts and Wing Beasts are the Bujin Gees, and then also all of the extra deck ones are. Are 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 Bujin are Bujin Bujin Te and Bujin Ki. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, Bujin's a really cool archetype that is, I think, not legal in a single alt form. I don't mind. Uh, they 
They have no lore. They have nothing in Go to Edison to put them in extreme. Um, they're not a battle deck. They don't have a single card in structures. Um, they're not a pro tag deck. They've never appeared in the anime, and they do not feature... I, I, I don't think any obvious female characters, but very few if so. Um, I don't know if they're on the no bias list. No, they're not, Other because if they were, they would be either there or there. Yeah, so they're not in no bias, um, and they're not a world premiere arc, and they were never remotely close to tier zero, uh, so they're not in Tikaboo, and yeah. they are not in armed and ready because they don't deal with equips. They're not legal in a yeah. single format in this Discord. Huh. Yeah. But they've been rogue in TCG before. On one very brief occasion. Bujin is like Firefest. A really, really cool deck. Just sucks. And like... Bujin, you could kind of work in new cards for, but I don't think they'd want to play... I don't think they'd want you to not play Yamato, because that's, like, what you always played. That was kind of just always how the deck worked. Um, And then Firefest, you literally cannot support Firefest in any good fashion while keeping what the deck does intact. It is a battle deck at its core. You could give it something Goki-esque, but, like, I mean... The problem is, like, the best way to do battle decks without making them not battle decks is realistically to just give them all fucking, um, what, what is it, fucking Power Load Ogre? Yeah. yeah. Power Load Ogre. Like, you just give them, you just give them all a massive towers. Like, that's all you can do. Okay. That's not true. Because these fuckers exist. Um, this archetype is genuinely cool. Um, I've heard they're really unfun and uninteractive to play against. They're cool. They are literally... Okay. So, this deck is probably getting hit in Brawl format because... Tenpai is, is a deck that is just... It's Brawl legal because it's a battle phase deck. It's a battle phase deck because basically all of their effects either want or need to be activated in the battle phase. Here's the thing about this deck, though. You're literally just playing regular-ass Yu-Gi-Oh. This deck is literally just, okay, my main phase and battle phase are the same phase. Fuck you. This deck literally does main phase plays in its battle phase because that is enough shit. That's either battle phase or or damage step. Like it's it's really funny. It it is genuinely funny to me. And also I've seen the deck combo off. It it looks cool. It does. But uh yeah, it's probably going to be a little much for Brawl. Given that it's, we're literally putting a deck that is only a battle deck because Konami put the words battle phase on it up against everything the fuck else. Now, I will say the disadvantage this deck has is that in Brawl, we're in a format where you really want to be, you, you, you really want to be going second. Because you, you're trying to hit shit, right? This deck yeah. does. The thing is, basically, you want to be able to OTK. If you go first with Goki, you still set up a big Scrungo, right? If you go first with Lunalite, yeah. you can you can make some Exceses, you know, as a defensive board. Um, or I guess make a big Scrungo and sit on shitty towers if you really wanted to. You know, if you go first with um. I was gonna say Warrock, but that one doesn't do anything. Um. Rock just exists. You first with like a Utopia deck, right? Like you you can set up some kind of defense. Um, if you go first yeah. with Tenpai, you you don't do anything. 
At least X struggles going first. It's it's uh, it's a bit of a new. At least from what I've seen, this deck doesn't do a ton going first. Um, probably because again, everything needs to be in the battle phase. And the few that don't need to be still want to. Orcist! Pure Orcist! Okay, it's technically Bestial Orcist, but PURE Orcist! Pure Kist! I probably shouldn't be on the belly. Pure Exactly. Um. Second. Pew. Yes, that's fine. Also, I gotta say. I gotta say, since uh, making my, my chair limit deck, I've been having so much more fun in Master Duel and actually wanting to play matches. Tier is a over re okay, using okay. my virtual world. So, um, it was good back at back like a year and a half ago. No, I know. It's just like the the comparison and it's fun so factor of playing virtual world to playing tier. Yeah, he's like yeah. I'm aware it's just, of that. It's so here's, fucking complicated. Well, here's the. Here, Tier or Virtual World? Well, okay, the answer is both, to be fair. I think. I don't know Virtual World life, but I think the answer is both. Virtual World is Vir just... Virtual World is complicated but linear, if, I, if I'm if i if I'm understanding correctly. Like, you have to... It's like, yeah. it's like, it's like Didi. I mean, Didi's not entirely linear, but... Um, it's like Didi in that like, it is not a hard deck to play. It is a hard deck to learn. Yeah, you have to go in certain orders, and if you can't get in that order off of your first hand, then it's just here's a bunch of shit sadness, to yeah. try and you just like drop hyper psychic riser pass. Game. Yeah, um, but virtual world is like genuinely a really cool deck. Um, tier is a very fun deck to have in a format. I think Master Duel has like it's it, Master Duel is what um Kit Close is still legal in Master Duel, right? Uh it's the it's the two that's one. banned. Yeah, but it's it's the two it's, that's banned. Yeah. Uh Are there, those the only the, are those uh, the only two hits? Because I think I think they have something no. in semi. No, out of twelve like there is uh the only thing that is a monster that is that full is Rhino Heart. Um uh, the, uh, the dark aqua is at the, that's, two. That's, the, uh, that's all the, three of them. That's the thing. No, no, no. No. Yes. Um, there no, are yeah, three yeah, dark yeah, yeah, aquas. You're right, you're right, you're One right. of them is banned. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's water, it's water warrior. And oh. then dark aqua. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a water uh, psychic. The, I think it's the one that, that is during your opponent's main phase, well, during the main phase of the, the effect is activated, then mm, you can four, summon okay. it and the one that, do all The one it. that makes you not need to normal summon. Yeah. It's it's at, I think, one. Uh, the the other one is at two. They've hit the deck Rhino again since, three. okay. And then, and then the level two cash? is at zero. Yeah, the level two is banned. Um, is oh, it, and then, uh, isn't then tier cash, cash at, at one or two? I think it's at two. Yeah, because that's literally a hit, because... The, okay, tier cash is actually a really and then, good. And then Kit Palace goal. is at one. And everything else is at three. So, oh, um, except for except for its field, except for the the new field, it's at one. The the good field spell. The old field. No, no, the. The old one is the better one. one. The 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 one that that, that uh, the planet also involves. The planet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the older one. Um, Tier Cash is okay. a really good hit for the way that Master Duel wanted to do things, because first off, a Rise Heart should be banned. But Tier Cash is a really good hit for the way that Master Duel is trying to do things, because they want to hit both Tier Limit and Cash Zero without playing either of the decks. Hitting Tier Cash, limiting it would have probably been better than semiing it, but hitting Tier Cash hits both decks. I, semiing it in conjunction with other things. Well, you got to think that, uh, limit that, enough, that is at one. Yes. Well, that's what I was going to say is if you limit and semi enough things, it stops being, oh, the deck is just sacky now. And it's like, okay, no, the deck is actively less consistent in a way that lowers your ceiling, not just in a way that makes it feel like you get sacked. It's not like putting max C to one, TCG. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is the the, the primable planet that's at one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought that was the newer one. OCG still, too. Um, the Sprite still hit. Sprite has, um, two blue, one jet. Yeah, because I had that as a backup deck to, 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 to build on, and then I went back into it, and I was like, oh, like, everything is... Everything they hit, is they hit sprite. They hit Sprite pretty hard. The problem is, at the yeah. point they at the point that they went after tier, Sprite becomes the best deck uncontested. Like the thing about the thing about Pote format and the following um, tier limit format, and the equivalent to Pote format in fucking. I guess we had no equivalent to Pote. No, we did though because we had a month I think with tier before exchange. Um, but that format, the only reason that Sprite was not tier zero in that format. Master Duel might have done some preemptive frog stuff. I don't think it did, though. Um, the frog hits and tier limit existing are the only reason Sprite was not a tier zero deck. So, um, that's why they had to go after Sprite after they went after tier, because it would have been really good for a while. Full power oh. frog ninja oh, right. sprite uh, right green, now, uh, probably still floor Snake Eye. But Snake Eye is also the, the just The continuous bad. trap is at one. The continuous trap is at one as well. One's here. The fuck? Yeah. Why? The, the cash one or uh, the tier because, one? The tier. Uh, because if it gets sent to the graveyard, you can just that add a tier to your hand. not a good... Okay, whatever, Konami. All right, that one's... That one's... That one's how much... That one's got me asking how much drugs. That one's got me asking then, how much drugs. And then the on-field effect is is negate an effect that you control and then send one of your tears to the graveyard from the field. Yeah, that's a fine card. It's not a bad card, but it's not good enough to be on the list. No, not at one. Not with all of it. The, um, okay, so one big thing about tier that a lot of people seem to forget. Tier Lament was not a tier zero deck. Tier Limit kept up with a would-be Tier 0 deck. Tier Limit was not a Tier 0 deck. Yeah. Exchange Tier Limit enough, yeah. was a yeah. Tier 0 deck. And I, a lot of people... Okay, here's my, here's, my, here's my take on Tier 0. Tier Limit was never the problem in that format. Think, think about this. Think not about really. This. It, think it's, about this. Ash Blossom just shuts it down. No, or, it doesn't. Oh, no, no, no. no the, 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 which one is it? The, the, is it Ghost Pepper? No. Are you thinking, okay. A, are you thinking of Ghost Bell? B, you're still wrong. C, maybe yeah. you're thinking of Dimension Shifter. Oh. And D, if it's Shifter, well, that shuts down like half, like 80% of the decks in the game. Then, yeah. Well, I, I was thinking you're of probably Ghost thinking, Bell. You're probably yeah, thinking of right. Bell. Um, yeah, Bell, Crow, the yeah. Bestials, they can all hurt. None of them completely shut tier down. Because usually you're not on pure tier, and if you are, you probably still have through lines for those. Yeah. Um, tier is tier is an early postmodern Yu-Gi-Oh deck in the way that I view the eras. Um, yeah, also I will be back in like two seconds. Okay. Also, we're gonna be, we're gonna be wrapping up in a little bit, chat, um, fairly soon. I, I will also continue my my point on why tier was never the problem. Not not that I and I also just like to elaborate on this, but I'll continue to get back. Um, but to elaborate, like it's not that I think that tier should be unleashed at full power. Um, I think that tier is over hit right now. But um, the exchange cards were absolutely the problem. What did I miss? Nothing, I waited. Oh, okay. If you think about it, Tier on its own, when it first came out, people were experimenting with a lot of different decks. I mean, in OCG, they had grass and non-grass variants of literally everything that we were running. We saw Branded Tier, Danger Tier, Shadal Tier, Lightsworn Tier. Um... 
I feel like there's more, but like, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, and then mixes of those as well. Um, the exchange cards, though. They were this broken ass engine that you could run in anything. How many decks were running this engine and were elevated to would have been rogue if tier limit exactly did not exist status because of this engine existing? Technically, we can't say for certain. There are a lot of decks that benefited to an insane degree from this engine. This engine bolstered so many decks to an insane power and consistency level they did not have before. Tier limit was on that list, though. Tier gets the hate because tier is where all your plays revolve around. If Medolce was tier zero because of because exchange Medolce was good, or if it, we had, you know, uh, Vernalizer exchange or Vernasilf, I think they're called in, in TCG. Um, if, if we had Vernal exchange as a tier zero deck, again, people would hate those, not, not these. Doesn't matter which one it is. It could have been literally anything. It could have been, it could have been exchange Sylvans and people would have been mad at, at Sylvan and not these cards. I don't know why so many people, even people, this is one of those things where like, okay, a lot of people online have shit takes, especially in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh and Vanguard are like the two card games where don't trust anyone in most online spaces. Like I trust the MBT Discord to at least have somewhat vaguely decent discussions sometimes, but not always. And I, you know, got to learn when to, you've got to learn when to back out of that kind of stuff, right? Acquired skill. And it's different in like every community space. People with good takes think that these cards weren't the problem and that tier was the problem. And I, 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 I cannot fathom why that is the case. Hello there. Welcome to McDonald. Like, these cards enabled so many decks to be so much better than they should have been. Um, like, both got nuked together, but were we to have kept one and nuked the other, the correct decision, in my opinion, would have been to nuke these and keep two. I think the decision that would have been made due to a few factors is that probably tier would have been nuked and these would have been kept if that was the case. Um, these were slightly more recent, uh, and these enabled significantly more decks with different play styles because these were supplementing those decks, but doing so to such an extent that it was insane for what those decks were, whereas tier was using other engines to supplement and still playing. But from a practical perspective, just like only looking at just the gameplay itself and health tier would have been better to keep it. But then, then like I said, we knew both, so we'll keep it. But tier will be able to come back. I don't know if I don't know if these will. Yeah. I don't I mean, know tier if tier's already will. coming back. It's it's still a uh, uh, tier two no, no, it's not. In no, it's not. No, it's not. It is overperforming. It is overperforming. I, 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 Tier is one of those decks that does not have enough to be consistent at what it does anymore, but people are just playing it so much that, of course, it gets some. See that? If you got a thousand people in a hundred somehow manage, I mean, that looks decent enough. Yeah. But in reality, there's 900 other of those also, decks that It also comes down to, to matchups and exact shit, right? Like, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that are like, you know, X tier limit. And it's literally just X, but sometimes you have tier limit. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. It's like, um, even... Sprite has a few decks like that. Uh, I mean, that's literally what... I mean, no one calls it Nimble Sprite or Frog Sprite really all that much because you're usually not actually doing anything beyond maybe making a code against a Frog Sprite, right? Um... Yeah. There were some frog-heavy variants of, of Frog Sprite. Um, but, like, you also have actual Sprite variants. Like, um, 
Tri Brigade is an interesting variant in that it actually has that exact thing. Um, Sprite Twin to a much lesser extent. You are playing Sprite, sometimes you're playing Tri Brigade. In the case of Twin, it's sometimes, most of the time, but not all the time, you're playing Live Twin. Um, but you're always playing Sprite at the end of the day. Unless you just don't see Sprite. Chad still can't hear us, by the way. How? Yes, they can. I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm double checking. I couldn't hear, hear Oak talking on stream a minute ago. Well, it's going through on OBS. It's in the right the channel. Stream is a fair ways behind. Only like 30 seconds, but yeah. I mean, it's going through on OBS. There's literally nothing I can do if if chat's not audible on stream. That's oh, fucking I can hear myself. No, on stream. I okay, wonder if Discord weird. has privacy settings that are not set the same for everyone by default for some fucking reason. Oh, do you have the setting to not be recorded? <laughs> I don't know. If that affects... It, it could be because I'm on my phone. Maybe. I mean, if that Maybe. affects streaming, that is literally a change of, like, the past couple of weeks. And should realistically be a separate <laughs> setting as well. Privacy. Um, uh, it's very strange that I can hear myself on your stream, but not Oak. Yeah, that, doesn't that make is sense. really weird. Where would that be at? There's not In one. the privacy? Um, check under clips. It's a click. Be turned on. Uh, then yeah. it's just then it's just something wrong with Discord and OBS interacting, I guess. Huh. Also, I'm still of the opinion that Sprite Twin is the, like, best current variant in all three formats, and also was the best non-pure variant in, um, in both format. Purely because, the um, thing is, um, it's the only one of the Sprite variants where you are playing a genuinely decent deck if you don't hit your Sprite side. It is also by far the most consistent Sprite variant. And the ceiling is right alongside all the others or above them if we're talking about like crawler and ojama apparently i was just completely wrong i can't hear rogue on stream he's just quiet me uh, so it was, it was he's louder than you for me so that's I'm... still a discord issue <laughs> <laughs> probably an obs issue that's probably where i'm in the vehicle and my voice isn't like no like yeah, obs is loud. obs is saying you're louder I, it's just Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. everything is fine. I'm dumb. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Gaming. Well, if it wasn't, we were just going to have to deal with it, because the only re uh, fix is yeah. starting OBS at that point, and I'm not doing that. No, no, point, we have to also restart stream. stream. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's why I, no, that's why I'm not going to do it, because I might have to. No, 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 from the beginning. You have to do everything over Do I again. get to go back in time? <laughs> because if not, it's not an option, so I'm still not doing it. Like, like, do I, do I, do I just go current energy levels and slog through the past four hours, four and a half hours? Yeah. By traveling back in time. Like, I go back yeah. to 11 o'clock this morning. Oh, well, then I have the time yes. to do that. Yeah, whatever. As your, as the current person. Yeah, no, yeah, a 10 hour, yeah, a 10 hour streaming <laughs> session would probably give me enough exhaustion to sleep well for once. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been sleeping decently the past few nights. It's really fucking jarring. Last night, I had trouble falling asleep, and I'm like, oh no, my breathing's acting up. And then it was just like, no, my body wasn't fucking ready to sleep yet. Because the thing is, I was having trouble falling asleep. My breathing wasn't acting up yet. I thought it was going to start acting up. The next thing I know, my alarm's going off at 8 o'clock. So no, my body was just oh, yeah. like, I don't want to go to sleep yet. It was literally, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's like, okay, but we got six hours last night, which led to us getting six hours last night into today as well. But I mean, it's fine. I can function six hours. I mean, good that you're getting a fair amount of sleep. I mean, six is less than I should be, but... Seven is my norm, which is weird. Different people's exact sleep needs are different. 
I've been fine on seven my whole life. I've been sleeping like six or less consistently for the past two years. And then on the other end of the scale, you have me, where I sleep for like 12 hours a day. If I sleep for more than six hours, I'm probably sleeping for more than 10 hours. It'll be, it'll be 12, 13. Yeah. Anyway, you coffee around at the bottom of that. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, let's derail your stream. I'm sorry. One. So I actually wanna. I'm gonna screen share this for a uh, CD to see. Um, dueling book. So I alluded to this earlier, but so I have a cool idea for for a new format for the server. Um, it's Fairy Tale Plus, and I had this idea literally just because people won't stop telling me. Oh, well, ex the exchange cards aren't an archetype. Why aren't they legal in your format? Because you're an idiot. Um, <laughs> but... Where are these people and why are they not in this server? Um, because, uh, this server is not active enough that I can consistently, like, spitball in here. So I have a couple of other just bigger Yu-Gi-Oh servers that I go to, as well as archetype servers, that I try to brew. Most people are helpful, but I will occasionally encounter someone that's like that, and they're really anal about it, and it's really stupid, and someone tried to argue Sangin is an archetype! What the fuck? Sangin? You know the best part? They were like, oh, well, well, well Sangin is, Sangin is, Sangin is... No, no. So they were like, Sangin so they were like, cards. well, the Sangin archetype should be legal because because be fair, Sangin appears on other cards, so Sangin no has lore. Well, no, no, no. So they were like, so Sangin has lore, and 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 Sangin lore exists with with the 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 the, the charmers and the DDs. I was like, okay, so A, not an archetype, so already legal. B, even if Sangin were an archetype, yeah, okay, you'd be right. Because the charmers are tied to dual terminal. So even if I wasn't counting whatever lore he was talking about that doesn't, well, that does exist, but Sangin's not an archetype, the charmers link in Sangin anyway. So even if it were only cards, Sangin is there. Lore is not an archetype. Hey. Like, I'm sorry, that too many cards cross over to yeah, like Sangin make appears, an archetype. Yeah, Sangin appears on like 30 but, different cards. That doesn't make Sangin a deck. Like, if you wanted to include the various cards that Sangin appears in, in, like, the lore format, sure, go ahead, because that's about how the lore connection They're all non-arcs, so they're all legal anyway. Plus, again, even if yeah, they were, but, they connect back to Charmers, which connect to Dual Yeah, but, but like, you get my point. Yeah, nice. like, it's not an archetype. It, it doesn't Sangin's get to not a deck of any archetype. kind. <laughs> no. If we had a um, second Sangen card, Sangen number two, sure. If it interacted with a Sangen card. Ah. Or with Sangen or Witch of the Black Forest, that would be cool. Um, but then it would immediately make them illegal. I guess you could argue that Sandwich should make Witch and Sangen illegal, but that's not a deck, that's a fucking DM era fusion. Anyway, so this format is, I think, really interesting. Um, so there are a couple hits that'll happen at the start of this format, if it does happen. Um, these guys are gonna enter the format hit, and Tier is gonna take a couple hits as well. Uh, are the are the two big ones? But basically, this format is it's 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 fairy tale format plus every archetype that can that can reasonably be directly associated with a legal fairy tale archetype. Melfi, Nimble, Frog, um, all get in because of Sprite. Pearly gets in because of Sprite. Um. Unchained is in because of Twins. Wind Witch is in because of Invoked. Um, Phantom Beasts, technically legalized Mecha Phantom Beasts, again, but they get in because they are the TCG printings of the White Knight cards Chaz used in GX, which is the same reason that Armed Dragon and a Assault Core get in. Uh, this, of course, represents Alpha Bots, but a Assault Core. Look at him go. Why is his laser zigging down there? Does it zag back up later? I don't think we see that on a card arc. Um, Alpha bots are also legal because of Ethereum, technically. Um, Sword Soul brings Tenyi, Orcus brings Scrap and uh, Luna Light. Uh, Melodious gets in for ties to Gem Knight. Um, Punk is Punk was played with Ethereum for a while. Dark Lord Despio is a thing. Heralds play a big part in every ritual deck. Uh, Libromancer had some shenanigans going on with Dogmatica and in piles with both Dogmatica and Necroz. 
Um, Goki with the nightmares. Kaijus are actually a crucial part of a ton of Crusadia lists. Like Kaiju Crusadia with a full-on Kaiju package. Not with the counters, but enough Kaijus that is actually vocally you want to not just go second in OTK, but specifically Kaiju them. Uh, you, you have enough Kaijus that you're always opening one. Unless you're me. Uh, Lyralus gets in because of Tri-Brigade. Um, and uh, Cyber Angel gets in because of Drytron. Stuff like that. I still don't have a complete list, but I want to mess around with this format a little bit too. Just like, let's really see how far we can push this idea with him, you know? I have no idea what I'm still one. missing at this point, but this is, this is a pretty decent list of things to add. be honest i'm overwhelmed trying to make the connections my brain is short sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh and then also pk and raid raptor get in because of um fucking um pk has done shit with both time thief and orcists not I mean, time thief hasn't done shit competitive but and then raid raptor has a few of its extenders pretty much always running Wait, so are you adding all of those in to the Yes, this the is lore? Well, or, no, no, no. So this is this is for, this is for a, this new is a format. separate format that builds off of Fairy Tale. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Yeah. And then like like how you don't have to build them pure or you can mix and match lore stuff. You don't have to play these decks with the things they were played in. If you want to play nimble uh frog, you can do that. You, know, you don't have to play about... a lore archetype. You could play just one or two of these. You could play pure Unchained. I don't give a shit. I have thought about Rescue Ace, but I don't think I don't think uh, Snake Eye Rescue Ace is, is popular enough to justify that. I'm thinking of a thing I need to double check real quick. IRL or related to these? Related to these. Oh, okay, interesting. Right, okay. Because hey, I was remembering when I was trying to make the Ice Barrier deck for Fairy Tale, right? Because mm -hmm. I said a lot of the out of archetype cards that it uses aren't legal. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. One, yeah, one of them is. Uh, I think it's Marine Sis. Okay, so the, the there's other. There's Mermil in it. Mermo and uh, Atlantean are currently in, but Marine Sus is the one that actually works with Ice Barrier. <laughs> so, so the thing is, as well, I'd have to, I'd have to like poke through and, and see what like Ice Barrier lists look like. Right. There's a reason that Rocket and Karibo are not on this, and Blur uh, and probably a few others that I'm missing are not on this list. Right. One card isn't enough. Otherwise, we would have the use of Savage and I mean Baron legalizing for a matter. We did the use of Savage legalizing Boral and Rocket. Right. Now, I will say, Boral and Rocket are closer to being legal than Flur because Dragon Link is a thing. But I decided, you know what? I don't think that the lore archetype being used as an engine in one deck doesn't count. Fair. Lunalite only gets in because of the fact that I... Lunalite gets in because of Orcist, even though it used an Orcist engine. Because the only reason I did this was all three of its companion decks get in full stop without question. And I'm like, it's it's like just barely not there. I'm just gonna bump it in there. Because we have Lyra Lusk, right. we have Wind Witch, uh, and we have, you know, because again, Gem Knight Ties, because Anime Go Burr, um, Invoked Wind Witch was a deck, and then Tri-Brigade Lyra Lusk was a deck. Right. I, I was just bringing up Marine Sess Ice Barrier. Light breaks that because I like it, and it's I, OCD. That's fair. I was just bringing up Marine Sess Ice Barrier because, like, every I Ice would, Barrier deck list yeah. I've seen uses the Marine Sess Link 2 as part of a major combo. Is it just so. the Link 2? Uh, I think like, so. Like, how much of a Marincess package are we running is kind of the issue. And also, which one actually like, shit? Is it, uh, Coral, I'm assuming? Because uh, it's the one that's special summon. Yeah, it's Coral, because yeah. it's special summons to water from Great Wave. Yeah. And the trick is, like, you go into 
Bahamut Shark with your level 4s, right? You actually use into that. Use Bahamut Shark to bring out uh, Toad. The totally awesome thing. I, I couldn't yeah. remember. And and then you link Bahamut Shark, Shark and something else into the Marine Cess so to you, revive something so you can keep going with your so actual you use Ice Barrier. three novels. cards that you can't run in this format to play Ice Barrier. <laughs> Correct. Oh, that's but, amazing. But, but I thought I thought of it because you said in this new format, toads are legal. So totally awesome is legal. Right. Toad is legal. Bahamut shark is its own. Unless it counts as uh, shark archetype. And that's not legal. I'm pretty sure it does. Cause I th- I it is, it it's a shark name, rank four, that needs water mats. Right. I, and then brings some... out rank three or lower being the mark, which is three is one of the ranks that sharks go for. Right. You know, Ice Barrier needs a lot of help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even with the new stuff. That's, Ice Barrier needed a lot of help, and then they got it twice, and they still need a lot of help. <laughs> they still need a lot of help because they CD. refuse to release the damn OCG cards. CD, CD, CD. How do you think I feel about, like, the decks that haven't even gotten those OCG cards yet? I am the lore nerd. I can't play Gusto. <laughs> how, do you, how do you think I feel when yeah. I search this? What I am I this. doing with any of these cards? I'm summoning uh, this never because you don't have there's no there's no combos. You can't this deck is this deck is a decade old. And it's actually more than a decade old. It's it's actually like twelve or thirteen years old. Uh this deck's almost in high school. Holy shit. Um and it was dated for its time as dual terminal. I, I love, by the way, there is a legitimate evolution to lore decks as we go. So we have we have we have dual terminal one, which um we, we have uh both the list here. We have all the dual terminal one stuff. Worm was Vaguely playable for about two minutes. <laughs> Everything else in here I've might have had a good card or two, but that's it. No, no, Worm was genuinely viable for a few minutes, basically. Um, uh, Dragoonity, you know, we have a few that would go on to be, like, good or have some good stuff later, like Dragoonity, Naturia, recently. Um, Gen X isn't the worst thing you could be doing now. Um... Then we go to Dual Terminal 2. Ishki had an FTK, I guess. Um, Gem Knight had an FTK, I guess. Evil Swarm was good because it functionally had an FTK, I guess, in Dragon Ruler format. <laughs> Constellar was good for about 30 seconds. On the whole, technically better than Dual Terminal 1. On, t- on top of the fact, Gem Knight was not one card, but an engine that actually did things for a lot of things, which is slightly more credit to it than one card. Granted, it was literally because of two cards, but that's more than Trishula. Well, it's not more than Trishula and Brianna, so I guess not more than Ice Barrier. The Gishki was, like, actually decent with its FTK and had vaguely fine power level without it as well. Um... Vylon was, like, kind of rogue, and Constellar had a few minutes of fame. So we see some evolution there, right, in Dual Terminal 2. Dual Terminal Part 3. Ritual Beast was rogue. Necroz was Tier 0. Yang Zing. Mm. Had good cards, had a dino mesh, but Yang Zing itself was not good. Shadal was Yang meta. Pause Teller Knight. Yang <laughs> yeah. Uh, Teller Knight. Very briefly meta. Klee. Meta, Infernoid, briefly rogue. Zephra, briefly rogue. And then we go to True Draco at the same time. Ignite, fringe OTK deck, not great, but not bad. Dino Mist wasn't great for the time. Magispector was decent, but was waiting for Metal Foes. Amorphage sucked. Draco Slayer wasn't a proper deck back then, but what it had was used in an insanely powerful engine, so I'm going to give that to its credit because it wasn't at that time designed to be a deck proper. So I'll, it, that was how we were meant to use it, and it was how it was used. 
Metal Foes was actually a meta deck with Magispector. Crystron. Crystron. Zodiac. Fabrics. <laughs> Zodiac. True Draco. So, you know. The lows were still kind of low. We had Yangzing, Ignite, Dino Mist, Ristron. Uh, but there were a couple of Tier Zero decks in there. Um, some of which were, like, just kind of... I don't want to say just circumstance, but... Necroz was... Half the reason it was Tier Zero was just because, like, Jin existed. Other things could theoretically do not nothing against it. Um, and... And then Cosmo came out, and it was just not Tier Zero anymore. <laughs> like, Zoo was Tier Zero, but you could play Zoo in so many things that, like, it wasn't the worst thing. And honestly, Zoo, before Masterpiece came out, isn't even the worst Tier Zero deck to have. Then we follow this up with World Legacy, where we get Chalice, which would have been meta if the Goki archetype didn't exist. Um, Crawler, which was terrible, but to its credit, was really interesting mechanically, and it also contradicted itself. Mech Knight, which... Was would mechanically have been, interesting. Yes, would have been Rogue on release if Goki didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, okay. Mm. Um, and proceeded to remain Rogue the moment that Extra Links and FTKs left the format for five years. Genuinely, the pot the pot power creep wave is like the only the only like big hurdle that invoked it was it was with invoked, but Mech Knight, partially by its own merits, was a decently strong deck for five years. Um, Crusadia, a respectable OTK deck. The only reason this deck didn't do more is because it came out at a time when we were kind of moving away from giving up like fuck. And it came out just a little after we, we really didn't care anymore about it. Still one of the best OTK decks uh, in that period, especially with how well it paired with Kaiju. So, you know, really solid. Um, Orcus. Boss. What does the O stand for? Uh, Guard Dragon. Key. Critical piece in Dragon Link. Uh, Monstrosity was literally unfinished, so we don't talk about it. Same thing for World Legacy. There. Follow that up. With Albaz, we have Dogmatica, which was a really strong engine for non-extra deck decks for a little while. I would later go on to also be uh, good in Ritual Piles. Um, Tri Brigade, meta deck. Branded, meta deck. Uh, Spring Ends was bad, but with its with its, with its its cleanup support, uh, would, would later actually become decent. Um, Sword Soul, yep. Ice Jade sucked, but was mechanically extremely interesting. Therian was an incredible engine in a lot of decks, and low-key an underrated core to be running... Um, and I honestly, I think that, I think that, like, Punk Therian running, like, more Therians is, is genuinely a decent deck for that format. Uh, Sprite. Yep. Uh, Bistials just became really good hand traps. Um, and then Albaz, as a deck, basically is also run with Despia. Cool. Um, go to Visa Lord. Scared Claw. Isn't the worst thing. Uh, Tier Lament. Uh, Cash Tira. And then Monodium's also been decent since release. And then, of course, um, Snake Eye. And to be fair, this lore is uh, yet to be seen. Yet to be seen. Also, I know this list is probably terrible. I just put a bunch of funny cards that vaguely work in. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, this isn't a great deck. But I think part of that's also circumstance. This deck can this deck can counter can soft counter Xyz decks just by existing. That's like they can yoink shit from your opponent, detach from your opponent's materials, to to summon them. Because fuck you. <laughs> These guys are funny. So again, again, the of the three archetypes we've had, one is tier zero. One is mechanically interesting, and one, while literally revealed less than 24 hours ago, looks like it should be strong. I like how you can see the progression as we go. Like, like, 
they get better and better and better at actually designing these. Oh, they might have gotten a little too good at, uh, well, I guess not too good at designing them. They might have fallen off on designing them. Because, like, we didn't learn from... We, we, we either didn't learn from Sprite and Tier, or they really want Tier 0 metagames. I, th I think a part of it is just because has Yu-Gi-Oh! got uh, power crept over the entire time of the various dual terminals. Well, right? yes, but also, like... Because, like, dual terminal 1's arrow was a lot less powerful in general, even outside of dual terminal. Meanwhile, well, well, yes, current but, stuff, like but, Snake Eye, but is, Relative like, to the formats that they were released in, they've gotten more and more, like, in line with them. Even in, even in the last few years, again, dominating formats. I mean... Most of 2022, the best two decks were both from the Alpes lore. Yeah, my point was... Is that, you know, the modern dual terminal card cards and archetypes well, yeah, the, the are, new lore cards and arcs are designed obviously... to keep up with the meta, if that makes sense. Well, well, yes, but I think that part of the issue is I don't think they weren't supposed to keep up then. I think that Konami just didn't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> um, If Gusto had been a dual terminal one archetype, minus the Xyzes, obviously, because they wouldn't have been able to yet, or I guess would have been probably a four and a six. Um, I, I think that there's a world where Gusto isn't terrible in, like, Edison? <laughs> maybe? <laughs> that's, it's still a maybe. Um, that's kind of the issue. I think that, okay, okay. Gem Knight probably wouldn't be the worst thing you could be doing. Free brilliant fusion and everything. I, I think that just like Zexalero Gem Knight probably wouldn't be terrible on this. Theoretically, you could back inject Gem Knight with most of its stuff into Goat, I guess, because it's the fusion deck. Um, but they've just kind of like. Okay, part of what makes them. No, never mind. I was gonna say, part of what makes them better is the curve of how Power Creep has worked. Because one thing they've done for power creep is to make things more and more and more generic and less restricted and, and less locks. But that doesn't work because, like, that's why Trishula was good. Not, it didn't do anything for Ice Barrier to not have any locks, right? Like, I mean, you could probably have played, I mean, Ice Barrier has key cards in Wetlands Beatdown. <laughs> See, you... I say that because it's funny, but it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Ice Barrier's big cards have always been really good. You know, Brian, Ak, Trishula, everything. But the actual deck, like... Or Gungnir. It would have benefited so much from not locking itself into water, right? Yeah, it's funny because only the new stuff does that, too. Um, but it's it's because both waves of, of their both waves of their modern support are just from a time before we started making things yeah. slightly more generic. Like and there's if, also if if their water the locks were released no, prior? now, then you'd probably see a synchro lock, not a water lock. Yeah. But th there's also yeah. what, prior, prior which locks you out of five the, or higher. Which is the dumbest thing in a synchro focused deck. <laughs> In a synchro focused deck, without a single summonable synchro once he hits the board. Exactly. Like, I see so many Ice Bear here, your deck profiles be like, yeah, I play two prior, uh, just normal summon him so you don't get locked. And it's like, then what are you gonna do? You can't. Then you have better normal summons! Which is a weird exactly. sentence to be saying about Ice Barrier, but I promise you do. Yeah. Okay. Um Prior is the dumbest card I've ever seen. I'm sorry. <laughs> indeed. Okay. Um chat, we're gonna also, wrap up. Uh, what were those sets what were the sets released or announced yesterday? Um We got we got new cards for the next OCG set, um, and they're the next uh, arc in the DFL Star Lore. Technically they're prequel. Prequel arc. Um Give me one second, chat. We're going to see who's live that we can raid. Please stick around. I know a lot of people like to leave when we raid. Please don't do that. I've, I've genuinely thought about just, like, not saying we're going to end. Uh, like, stopping yeah. saying it and, and fucking... And just, like, not having an end screen anymore.
because it's like <laughs> no it actually kind of bothers me because it's like all right i get that i'm ending and people want to go like come on i'm literally about to send you to something yes it's going to take me like a couple of minutes but really <laughs> um all right let's see here um i'm like oh this person's doing stuff on dueling book yeah that's me <laughs> um <laughs> All right, let's send you here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I know who we're going to raid on, on both platforms here. As long as it lets me. They might not have raids disabled or might have minimum size for raids. Um, All right, we can. YouTube, head on over to this link with hashtag thonkraid. Be sure to drop a like, show some support, as always. Thank you for doing the same over here. Um, Check out their content because most people in this community are pretty heckin' cool. Uh, Twitch raids happen automatically as long as you don't opt out. Thank you all so much for coming out, showing support. I will see you all on over the heck word. You watch my next. <gasps>